All right, this is where we left off last time. Oh my god, it's you. Can we talk? Can we talk? Goodbye now. I did like this place. This place was really cool. Oh my god, I was watching the VOD back yesterday. And um what's it called? I was watching the VOD where I was fighting the boss here. And I made it more difficult than it should be. That boss wasn't really that hard, but I made it more challenging. Right, Where to? Let's go. I was like, why did I make it so more, more challenging? I think I have all the mask, but I always have to double check. You never know. No, we cannot talk. Can we talk? Uh, who's this? Can we talk? All right, we got all the mask. We definitely got full, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what it confused me? Um, the colors. Because one of them, you know, the aura around the boss, it was different colors. So that meant what it was weak against, the opposite. I thought one of them was white, but it was actually blue. But I'm like, that was not blue. That looks like yeah. white to me. <laughs> so, All right, then. I was like, oh, oops. It was actually blue. I didn't know that. Uh, did I trick the gun already? Let's go. Yeah, it, it looked white to me, so I was kind of like, oh, all right. Mm. Okay, never mind. We got it. All right, then. All right, we got everything. Oh, actually. What now? Let me see. I have to get her to rank eight, rank eight, rank eight, rank six. Rank eight, rank eight. I'm guessing the mage class might be the last one that I might get. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need eight more mask. All right. All right then. Um. What's today? Twenty one. What to do? I mean, I can hang out with somebody. What? Nani? Uh oh. I met a minute mistake already. Mistakes have been made. Might have made a huge mistake. All right, then. So, yesterday we, um, we do yesterday.
What? What do you? What did I do yesterday? I can't remember. What now? Oh my god. I'm trying to remember what I did. Oh, we did Alonzo's um quest line. We did Alonzo's quest line. Actually, no, we did not do Alonzo's quest line. Did we? What in the world is happening right now? They change the guide. <laughs> Let me check something really quick. What's today? You little bastards. Oh, okay. Never mind. Raguchi. You little bastards try to change the guides, huh? I see how it is. Okay. Yeah, I have a guide open that tells me what to do, but it tells me options. Like, I could do this or I could do that. Because in the end, uh, I think we have like a week or something towards the end of the game to do everything we need. So... Sometimes I don't really follow the guide, what it's telling me to do. I do something else. Don't, like, I don't really need to follow the, the bonds guides. I can pretty much do all the bonds at some point. All right, so yeah, yesterday we did Alonzo's rank to seven. Um, is there any new recipes? No. All right then. Let's see what quest lines I have. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really worried about the the bonds. That's why I'm not really like following the guide when it comes to the bonds. I am following the beetles though. The beetles um what else, what else am I following? Um uh, I mean, I do follow some of the bond guides when they tell me to go to a dungeon cuz some bonds require you finishing a quest for them. I do follow that, but everything else I don't really follow along. All right, so we could hang out with somebody today. So we can only hang out with Stroh today, right? Gotta do it. Hmm? Mm, we can hang out with Stroh. We could finish Stroh today. You know what? Oh, actually, I also need to change my freaking glass.
change you to... The freedom of a wanderer. The freedom of a wonder. Okay. I have a better idea. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything today. I got the mask. Oh, I got all the mask I need right now. Um, all right. Everyone is here. Now then. We could go fight, um, what's his name? Mr. Beauty himself. Where is he, by the way? Could fight him. <laughs> Yolo. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Let's go teach him a lesson. It's your call. Sure. Great. Why Let's not? Ba -ba 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 what to pick? I never use this. I never used the plant or this. <laughs> it would have been nice if it didn't count for time. You know. Imagination. Don't make me sad right now. Live. Now then. Oh, you used a planter? Oh, rank five imagination. Let's imagination. go. Are you proud of me, SpongeBob? Why that's Alright, all we need is wisdom. I like how it gives me more points for imagination. Alright, let's see how this fight goes. Of the royal magic gone, the tournament for the throne escalates. Those who would turn the tide with military might are spurred by opportunity. Milo's path to a world where beauty reigns is once again thwarted by the party's gauntlet runner. His frustration boils over, marring his elegant countenance. Milo's. Oh, that would be Milo. Ahoy, are you ready back there? We got Milo and his palace of beauty. Hmm. Looks like they were expecting it though. He's already unborn and ready to go. We can do this. He's a cheat. And he deceived Loveless. We have no, we have no need to um, hold back. Keep your wits about you. We shall show him how once evil deeds come back to bite him. Milo, you're not getting away from us now. Ah, it would appear this is turning in a decidedly uglier direction. Alas. I'd have much preferred if you and that loveless had blotted out one another. I see what he did there. A uh, uglier di direction, you know, because sometimes it could be a, a good direction or an uglier one. I see what he did there. I like how he, his eye twitches every time he's like, I'm sick of you. Oh, unfortunate souls who fall so tragically short of my beauty. A shame. 
mutual elimination would have been your sole means of bettering this world. Shut your mouth! How dare you trick us! Damn. I think someone's mad. I wonder who it is. <laughs> well, I suppose there is one way I might rectify this situation and secure the reign of beauty. I need only dispose of you all here and now. Of course, if you intend to defy me, then you're welcome to try. He must be really strong to be this cocky. She is very much angry. Let's teach him a lesson. Now accept your fate. Huh? Oh, I was like, wait. How about this? Forgot I, I removed the other skill. I will fight with Looks like I can't brute force through this. Fight is power. Alright. On the wings. Oh wait, I have straw in the party? Oh, I should steal. I bid you, all farewell. you mother trucker. I bid you all farewell. Wind is it working? Try hitting them with something else. You're so annoying. Is there enough? Lend me your strength. I strike to the fore. I call upon royal power within. This better hit. Observe the enemy. Let justice prevail. I stand waiting. I gotta steal right now. This is wrong. This is unforgivable. A man of beauty cannot lose to these graceless barbarians. Nice insults. In the one brilliant blow. <laughs> My lord. You little bastard. Oh, you were there all along. Tight face in charge. Careful everyone. We might do something dangerous. He knew I was gonna um, steal. He's like, you know what? Quite a boon. You all truly yours. are. Now I'm still from you. Of course you would have the lover's mask. In the one brilliant blow. Looks like we can't brute force through this one. I won't hold back. Here. Thank you. My friends, helpful as ever. You think you're Are you prepared? my equal? Pierce. Oh. Is everyone all right? Holla dead! I'm gonna have to heal pretty soon. Strike me if you dare. I'll use what I must. They are revolting. How about this? I bid you all farewell. Straw, really? Straw's been charmed. There's no telling what he'll do. This way, are you? He'll be fine. With no holding back. Straw, can't take any more. Someone, someone, I'm wrong. You think yourself my equal? Oh, power of kings. Hmm. 
Nah, I'll just heal um strong. I don't want him to die. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's hitting the weaknesses. Alright, I see you. Poor Strom. Just getting bullied right now. Let's go. Uh, hold on. Is it working? Try hitting them with something else. You're so annoying. Forth, royal soul. The fact that I can't. Maybe not. It doesn't like matter. There, I know there's a skill that can remove that. I mean, I could bring um, Juna in. Bring Juna in. Let's trade Time places. Time for the leading lady. I call upon a royal soul. This might sting. Good job. Great job, Juno. I stand waiting. Face me. I have my methods. You keep yourself my equal. Scour. What? Didn't I just remove it? Am I tripping? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Then what did Juna do? What did Juna even do? Already in effect? I don't know about that. Okay, well, that I don't know if that's a glitch or. That is weird. Okay, that's interesting. All right. That's a weird design. Because this is supposed to give him a weakness of wind, but it doesn't work. So then this skill is kind of worthless. <laughs> that makes no sense. All right. Whatever you say, game. Juno, I'm sorry. You're not really good in this battle. My bad. I thought you were, but... The ninja shall be purged. How about this? Yeah, it didn't work. That's kind of weird. Looks like you can't brute force this. Fight power. Let me help. I'm obliged. My friends, shout out to self. To the front of the republic. Um, get, wrecked. Taught me. get wrecked. I bid you all farewell. In the one brilliant blow. Uh. Ow. Rude. Come. I wonder if I can. Nah, there's no way. I forgot to remove some of the skills I had before. Ninja. I show no mercy. Oh. Ninja. Here. Thank you. Quite a boon. I owe you one. Berserk. I know, it's, it's pretty funny. In the one 
Uh, that was one blow and that wasn't brilliant to be honest. I don't know what you're talking about. Forward, face me. Oh, actually, I'll use what I must. I have my methods. It's okay. We can still hack it. Damn, I'm kind of useless here. Forward. Oh, nice. Berzaka. I already have it on. Uh, Not now. Whose turn is it next? I defer to you. Oh, power of kings. How about this? Scatter! <laughs> Petals. <laughs> you Amazing. little bastard. Lucky bastard. To the vanguard, face me. Formidable indeed. I bid you all farewell. Scatter like petals. Like petals. Let justice prevail. Hideous power of kings. Absolutely hideous. I have my methods. Behold the power of Ow. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh, at least he didn't heal. Brace yourself. In the one brilliant blow. Oh, he might die. Ow. Kind of rude. Basilio's been charmed. Don't you know who your friends are? He'll be fine. I knew you'd help. Let us clean up this mess. What's next? Now accept your fate. Too much, perhaps? This is where well, you want me. Oh, yes. Absolutely hideous. I'm looking good here. To the rear. I can heal. Pass. Okay. Use now. My thanks. Hideous. Back to you. I use what I must. How about this? I bid you all farewell. That laugh, though. Are you sure not evil, sir? Time for some close combat. Just and hot things. The tough ones. Here I go. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you stop that? Is everyone? Oh, power of heroes. Advance it now. Accept your fate. Absolutely hideous. Actually, I'm going to the rear. I have my methods. Oh, you're lucky you didn't die right there. I won't die. 
Oh, so close. Oh my god. You little bastard. Do not heal him. Do not heal him. Do not control myself. Should I beat down first? <sighs> this battle is annoying. He's fine. He's taking a little nap. He'll be okay. Honestly, in my personal opinion, if you're charm and he attacks you, you should snap out of- Oh my Jesus Christ, stop hailing him! I swear to God! Probably the most annoying skill ever. Be fine. I'll wake him up right now. I'm here. I'm gonna wake him up because then Galia is gonna keep telling me like, "Oh, he's down." There you go, buddy. Wake up. You better be ready. still To the rear, Absolutely Nah, this should be fine. As long as it's not me. As, as long as it's not me, I'm fine. But I'm the only one who can heal. Whose turn is it? Fourth turn. Wait, what the hell? No, what? I'm talking about. Uh, I need to cure. Excuse me, I need to cure you. Take it. Quite a boon. Oh, oh, oh! You see that? Ow! Observe the end. With blade in hand. Don't you know who your friends are? I'll stay my blade. Hideous. I don't want him to lose his I Lord Evans. I bid you all farewell. That works. In the one brilliant blow. Ow. I mean, he is lower level. Till later, buddy. If I might ask. I've been wondering for some time, but what about you is actually beautiful? You belittle people. You manipulate them with your schemes. I, I genuinely don't understand. What is anyone supposed to find beautiful about you? Oh, shit. <coughs> Damn. You be what? Where did that come from? Holy roast. <laughs> if I might ask. I've been wondering for some time, but what about you is actually beautiful? Shit. <clears throat> that was just... That was, um... That was like an almighty skill right there. That was like 5,000 damage. I... Silence! <laughs> I... I was not expecting that. I am beautiful. Surely you 
needs only look. Yes? Even a plain, simple little girl like you will understand if you look upon my face. Uh, I am sorry, but is there something I should find appealing about oh. it? This, this this person might have a family. I'm just letting you know. You don't have to, like, do that to him. He might have a family. Like, relax. She got three eyes and said, all... Oh, say your <laughs> Wow. In any case, you lost. And if you try to manipulate us ever again, you'll regret it. You'll regret it. Mm. Oh, talisman of fairy. I'm capable too. I am most certainly stronger than I was. It's funny that she got most of the XP to level up. <laughs> I roasted him. I get to level up. That was just brutal. Well, that settles that. You didn't have to do him like that. Sheesh. I will say something something I noticed throughout the battles and it, it I noticed it a lot in this battle is the one benefit about persona or even SMT is that you're able to switch um like different like an SMT or like persona you can switch personas and each persona might have a specific build around them in this game like it sucks because since you don't, ha you can't switch your um, archetypes. You have to go into the battle prepared. But if you're not prepared, like obviously you're not gonna know all the um, all the enemies' weaknesses and stuff like that, or what they do. It can kind of be, it it can be annoying. Like that fight was annoying because it kept charming me. But if I knew he was gonna use charm, then I would have countered that. But I didn't have any info for that, so it's kind of like. Mm. I am starting to lean towards building someone who is just oh, resistance to all that. What now? Actually, you know what? There's something I could do. Who is it? You? Okay, I need. Oh, you have to be level twenty. I need to give her this. I was about to mention. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Welcome in, by the way. <laughs> now, who to give it to, though? That's the real question. You know what's funny? I actually thought about making him a healer. I don't know about that. Or maybe Juno. Juno could be... No, I feel like Hulkenberg will be the best option. That's for sure. But if I give it Hulkenberg... Holy... Oh, she'll ha okay, never mind. Dark Knight has this, so. She'll teleport me. And I can give. Actually, no, Hogenberg might work. I'm gonna give it to Hogenberg. Emily Mag, damn. Yeah, I did a lot of grinding. Oh, I'm in trouble. Welcome right. in. I'm hope I hope you're having a 
a great Thursday. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't think then. I have to buy any potions, right? Oh, wait. Actually, I might have to. Where is it? Where is that store? What? I haven't been to that store or what? Let's go. Apparently not. Oh, someone's in pain. Listen. Uh, I'm sure. Listen. Wait, I don't have any herbs. Oh yeah, I sold them. I'll be back. Forgot about that. Maybe I should have kept them. What would you like? Oops, my bad. <laughs> Oh, there's some new skills. Nice. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Hey, I'll buy like 10 of them. I don't really need that many. No, I haven't done Alonzo quest line yet. He's not dead. I highly doubt it. That that would be like an amazing plot twist though. Oh, some new ones. Reduce turn icons. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Be good for heist man. That could be really good for heist man. Oh my God! Hello. Excuse me. Reduce turn icons for synthesis. I'll buy... The thing is, am I gonna use this? I could use this for Juna. I'll buy this though. I'll buy two of these. Hmm. And then I'll buy two of The problem is with um with Heist Mame. Damn it. I wish it was like a, a gear instead of an accessory. I wish they'd let us put two accessories, but then it would that would be a little bit too OP. Actually. What now? What do you have? Strength plus six.
Yeah, the fact that you have double weakness is pretty annoying. Ice Maze is a really good dodge tank. I thought about that, but I don't know. Ever since I um, I have a bad taste of dodge tanks after SMT. Uh, I need to go to the store. Is the store even open? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Very bad experience with dodge tanks now. Greetings. Uh, where can I buy right. that medicine again? I'm guessing it's not here. Where to? Should be over here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm uh, I should probably keep some. I'll keep ten. All right, where to? All right, where was this person at? Let's go over here. I'll give him medicine. Why not? Why not? I'm a good person. All right now. Here you go, sir. Listen. Mm. Yeah, here you go. You saved me. I was drinking at my local when some nutter started roll with the... All I said, I don't care for Louise and the mini I put an... Oh, put a knife on you? Damn. Uh, sure. Holy moly, this person. Uh, Everybody's fine. Uh, Every day I grow more fearful for my safety. How ironic to now feel the most secure. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Leo. In my play playthrough release, Heisme was a good, super good dodging. Yeah, I was thinking about making Heisme um, a dodge tank and uh, Hokenberg a healer. Since I wouldn't really need to worry about her dying since she has a lot of uh, endurance, but I mean my my strat has been fine so far To be fair, I haven't really focused on my builds yet Like my my ultimate focus right now is to um, Level all my classes for my main character. That's that's what I'm focusing right now everything that everything else has been pretty fine. Actually, let me remove this. <laughs> All right. Isn't that? Hmm? Oh, I also have Hulkenberg as a tank healer. Yeah, Hulkenberg is a really good option for a healer. I mean, as a tank, obviously, as well, but not many people use her as a healer. Mm. Alright, we'll mark that one off. Who's your favorite character, by the way? I got something I want to announce to my... Sure. I'll be there. Thank you. So, so Thanks. Much. I know what I can do now. You keep your eyes open too. I didn't gather you here just to hand out free money. I did it to help you find good work. Because, see, if you find good work, you don't need to depend on other people. And that means you've got no one dragging you along. You decide how you want to live, and you make the most of it. So let's hear it. Want to live on your own terms? I'm sure the answer's pretty clear. We can get there one step at a time. And today, right here, is your first step. A pretty speech, no doubt. But who's going to hire a parapet? I can answer that. Where I work, there's an old man who said if Katharina vouches for them, he'll hire them. No questions asked. 
Sure, but <laughs> we don't have the skills for a workshop like that. I know. That's why we're going to get you some proper schooling. We're going to erect a facility right here and hire a teacher who will show you how to read and write and perform calculations. You can also learn carpentry, needlework, or medicine. And once you have the skills, we can talk to workshops and trade associations. I don't care about any of that. I say just give us money. Well, somebody's lazy. Sounds like a right pain in the ass. It's gotta be a faster way than all that. I wish. <laughs> I mean, that's the dream. You think handouts are gonna keep you alive? If everyone sits in the cart and no one pulls, would you just sit in the mud till you die? Oh, spitting facts. All right. Oh, come off it. We take what we're owed. It's that easy. Besides, you were the one saying we'd steal it back from the rich. Well, I uh, sent some. What's it called? Spoiled brat over here. <sighs> Greedy. Mm, you got you this. You can do this. Keep going. Yeah, I did say that, but I wasn't right. And for that, I'm sorry. Something stolen is just going to keep getting stole. You'll start to fear and resent your neighbor. It's an endless cycle of misfortune. How can anyone take pride in living off someone else's work stolen by force? I couldn't. No, we can't steal our way to a good life. We gotta shape our reality with our own two hands. We welcome anyone who wants to be their own change. Here, together, we write our own futures. Um, do you think it's possible that I could be a leather worker? And I want to try making clothes. I mend all my family's garb, and I'm pretty good at it. Of course, if you believe in the power of friendship. Uh, in which aspect? Uh, like, who's your favorite, uh, party member? Dude sounds like he's just a pirate. Wants to take money, this isn't his. I got the perfect voice for it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, he wants everything to be given to him without working. I mean, hey, if that was possible, I mean, I think a lot of people would do that. I love teaching kids. If I dedicate myself to study, might I be a teacher as well? Oh my god, I did not pitch that voice on you. What's got into all your heads? All this bloody talk about change. Too late for me, I say. Oh my god, some of you are... Some of you are not fun at parties, I can tell. Not by half. So tell me, what do you want to do? We can work on this together. With the power of friendship. I always thought it would be nice to see the ocean. Thought that since I was a kid. Then learn how to do calculations. If you can do that, I can introduce you to a merchant in Brylehaven. This guy is the MVP. This is really taking off. It's gonna take me a while to get through all these people. I know the power of plus seven had the best lot in life, but I'm feeling more optimistic about our chances these days. Because, I mean, you're going to be a king soon, yeah? Things will really I, start looking up for us then. Wait, re relax. I mean, don't set the bar too high. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like, don't put too much pressure on me. <laughs> like, you never know. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Good, because I'll be holding my breath. But I won't be sitting on my hands either. <laughs> It'll be funny plot twist. I lose the battle and uh, Luis becomes king. Not that we'll rely too much on you. It's gonna have to be a team effort. So, I guess in an ideal world, we wouldn't need kings. One king can't make the world a better place. It takes everyone to pull that off. It'll be a challenge. But things aren't that easy. That's true. The fight's only just begun. But I can see it Just a matter of overcoming the obstacles. Our paths may be different, but I'll be fighting the good fight with you. And when the going gets tough, or when you feel all alone, you remember me. Because we're fighting together, king or not. No matter what lies ahead for you, 
We're comrades in arms. I was gonna say we should uh, fist bump, but you have spikes, so never mind. <laughs> That would have been funny. We the fist bump and ah. Katharina, keeper and heritor of the brawler's virtues, your tempered bond has become a fire-forged trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of her newfound powers, work to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. New power. My dreams may seem impossible. Watch your artist. I wish they'd just call him Monk. New class. Uh, miserable youth does not have a voice. It reminds me of a stream I used to do G GTA roleplay with. They delivered some for us. Maybe that's him. Ooh, food? I think all around I really like Heisme. He's a really good written character. Yeah, I really like Heisme. His story is very, um... Like, it pulls you in right away. You get attached to him. Because some people can relate to what he's going through, or... Um, you just feel bad for him. So, I, I think Heisme is one of the best characters. He's like the... The... Uh, I mean... Hulkenberg has a lot of wisdom. But I feel like Heisme has a lot of wisdom. Like, a lot, so. I don't think he's done professional voice voice acting, but... I mean, plot twist, it's him. It's your friend. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Follows are anonymous. He's a bit older, too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I don't know. Heisman's cute. He's just, you know, he's vibing there. He's so cool. You lot better save some for me! Wait, come and have a meal with us. Consider it an early coronation ceremony. To be fair, I think the other reason why I like Heisme Maze because he's he has the ninja class, and and I'm a, I'm a big fan of ninja, so. <laughs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Yo, Prince, when are you gonna wake up? Have a look. Thank you. Hey. Right then. One day left. Show me. Oh, hey. You finished your quest. Uh, news travels fast. <laughs> Serves the bloody fool, right? What I'll give to deck him on one myself, but he's holed up in the runner now. Must be leaking his wounds. I'm really am glad though. <clears throat> if I'm honest, I didn't give two shits about the government. We knew no matter who became king, it wouldn't change our tribe. We didn't expect anything to change. That's how an 80 like me rose to glory. Thinking back on it, I never should have happened, which is why I'm sure I'm glad I met you. Mission accomplished. Oh. Appreciate that. Feeling good about the, all this now, so I'm thinking I'll hit the pub. But you know what? I'm gonna cut back, I think. <laughs> That's why I think. But I guess this means the case is close, huh? Even Loveless came around. As for Milo, Milo well, hopefully he relaxed for a while. Oh no, she did struck a core. Roasted him. A little bit too much. Yeah, he's probably crying right now. <laughs> that was a, that was a lot of damage. She did not care. And it's funny too, she's so innocent. I don't think she meant to like be real. Oh, maybe she did. I don't know. But 
she's so sweet, but her words sometimes can come across like really, really painful, like hurtful. Um. Oh yeah, I need to check the uh, the gauntlet runner. Where to? Let's go. What's today? The twenty two. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, bless your little heart. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, then. That's too funny. Oh, wait, the mask. I mean, to be. F oh, wait, actually, we did unlock a new class. What now? I see. What do you got? Meditation. Cures the burn and falsified status. Deals heavy physical force damage. Recovers a bound. Mm -hmm. That. Ooh, that's actually really, really good. That's really good. Okay, all right. Martial artist has a lot of good skills. All right. I see. Fast. This. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Of course. Really? More classes to level up. Yippee. Oh. Oh. I found you Hold up. What is that? Hold up. What now? Ooh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wait, was it a... Was it an accessory? Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, it was a gear. What? I can't put it on or what? Or is it one of those items where um, it's, it's just used, it starts right away? requirements okay i can't use it now i can't use it yet okay okay i get it now please turn icons in battle that's actually really really good defense 155 damn all right okay there's requirements oh hey what are you doing here oh okay sorry no, I'm just checking no up on you. Yeah, I think it's it's um I didn't oh. read the description fully. All right, we gotta pet the cat. I haven't pet the cat in a while. That's a good kitty. <laughs> Do make yourself at home. Uh, experiments. Make that one. All right, what do we got here? What is this one? I'm always interested to see uh, which persona is gonna be or 
Oh, he's gonna look. Oh, one of my favorite ones. Okay. I love that persona. All right. Take this. Buy more. You'll come. Maybe I'll come back in a while. I don't know. I can't make any promises for now. All right then. All right then. <clears throat> Where to? Let's go. Yeah, I wonder how many. Um, maybe when I get the full. Once once I max out all the classes, maybe I can use it. Can we talk? Mm, I got two of those. Can we talk? Four of those. Can we talk? Can we talk? I'll buy the- I like to have at least two, just in case. You never know. You never know. Alright, we'll go with that. What else do I need to get? Where to? Let's go! I do want to finish Alonzo's quest line. See what happens. I think we might do Alonzo's quest line today. That's it now. Well, it's... Can we talk? Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't believe I went from nine mil to two mil. All right then. Oh my god. You know what? What wasted a lot of my money was uh, Juno's weapons. These things were super expensive. This is what basically took all my money away. So, uh, Juno, that's your fault. I blame you. That's it now. All right, then. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, what now? What level are you, Stro? 15? I might get you to level... Um, Twenty with Monk. Right, I could get used to this. <laughs> Wait, can you even get it? Oh, you can. Thank the I Lord. see. Fast. This. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Can we talk? I know. Funny enough, I don't think that's annoying. This I think is... what's the really annoying part about her is when your um when your health is really low and, and she keeps saying, um, you gotta heal. Your health is really low. I'm like, yes, I know. A new ability. I know, leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, so you get Monk. I need to level this. I really want to get him this. Actually. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to give you this. That. Ooh, that could be really good for someone else. Hmm. I'm trying to think of formations I can keep. Oh, you have to be level 10 for that?
Oh, Berserker might be good for you. I might have to give you Berserker. Wait, where's the... Uh... Oh, nice. Right. I could get used to this. Well, actually... Use this one. I sensed this. All right. I'm in the Berserker line. I'm counting on you. Of course. I'm trying to give them the classes that will benefit them the most. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. A new ability. So Berserker lineup can be good for you. you gotta follow the Paladin line. Okay, so I just have to give him follow Brawler's lineup, follow Commander's line, follow Berserk's line, and then follow the Knight one. So Strobe's done. Hokenberg, 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 Hokenberg. Actually, hold up. This might be good for Hokenberg as well. This is max HP. I need to get this for Heisman. So Heisman will get that. What was that skill that, um. Oh, this. Right. Okay, Hulkenberg is there. That one's good. I'm always gonna keep her in the back, so that's not really gonna be worth it. Right, Heisman, you get that. You get Gunner. You get that. You don't need Samurai. Hey, Suni, welcome in. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm just looking at my classes right now. I'm trying to see um, what skills to transfer and everything. a lot of MP like a lot a lot of MP okay with shield blessing and this that could be good I don't know if I should go for a, like a wizard class for like I'm thinking about making Juno like an elemental focus Could give her all out elemental attacks. You be. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I hope you get some extra sleep. Let me uh, give some shout outs really quick. Go uh, check out Suni if you haven't yet. Wonderful streamer. They're playing a lot of Xenoblade 3 right now and Elden Ring. And uh, go check out Leah. They were uh, also recently playing Metal 4. They finished the game already, but, you know, they play a lot of RPG games. So please go check them out. 
You get a large coffee? What what's uh what type of coffee do you get? D decaf or what? Or do you want it to be very strong or sweet? Oh actually. What now? Uh, I'm strong. Stro, you don't. I, I don't need you in my party right now. Sorry. Is there a? There has to be a skill that reduces MP. I wonder if there's like a a skill similar to spell master in Persona. There has to be, right? Does anybody have a skill like that, though? That's what I'm wondering. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. Oh, is there no skill? Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Oh! Hey, yo. Now this is good for, um, for you. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need- I need to give this skill to her. Wow. Now that's gonna be really good for her. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, no problem. Cold brew with a bit of milk. Oh, nice. So I'm guessing you have your own um, coffee machine, or do you normally just go um, buy the coffee? All right, so we defeated. What to do? At, I'm hoping at some point we go into a dungeon where I can grind, because I haven't farmed in a while. I haven't been able to uh, find a good place to train. Oh, we can hang out with you. Hell yeah. Truth is. I do make it, but I also buy it from time to time. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't blame you. Yo. Sometimes you just you don't want to make it yourself. I was wanting, I was wanting the game, but after eating and seeing all the heavy rainfall, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to crawl back to bed. <laughs> that rain does that to you. Is it like raining really nice and peaceful or like raining hard, hard? Um, how was the rest of your stream, Sioni, yesterday? I didn't get to say bye, I was lurking, but did you get further into Elden Ring? Oh, hard rain? Yeah, mine is is yours random like mine. Like when it rains over here, it'll rain for a little bit, and then it just it'll rain like for five minutes, and then it'll just be gone. <laughs> hey. Oh sure, I'll help. I'm Thanks. done. You you hey. went you went up a little bit, Siuni. Proud of you. Pro gamer. Oh, it's been raining since I got up at 10. Oh, okay. I mean, I wish it was raining over here. Actually, no, I take that back. I, I wish it was not raining because it's kind of cold outside. So with the rain, that would make it even worse. <laughs> We're here to help. What's wrong? You look rough, mate. No. I look the same as I ever did. Let's get on to the job details, eh? You know, Night Prouder... Shady clubs sometimes 
sometimes been using the place to make under the table deals in the merchant back when it's pulling the strings of course rich as a king hey yo <laughs> so right when he's leaving the club riding high of the latest deal that's when we'll come from the from behind and snap his neck i knew it it was him he's the one killing people around uh people are talking about how there's someone out there killing or snapping people's necks huh. ah going for the neck huh wait no hold on you're just gonna kill him <laughs> i like how he's like oh you're going for the neck nice wait oh no uh, i mean what are you doing what what the hell are you thinking what what am i thinking you know it just as well someone's got to kill people like him and right now that's me no way don't tell me all the murders have been we've been hearing about all right let's let's hear him out let's hear him out hang on not much else to the story really i killed them all okay never mind i was trying to help you <laughs> maybe i'm like there's a, a secret motive like Maybe you're trying to protect somebody. No, he's just killing peoples. You have a laugh. Why would you? After you two ran, the experience just got worse. Told us that he couldn't afford the risk run running us away. Had to wear us all, wear us out partly. <sighs> yeah, my family's putting the. AC very very warm right now. It's freaking hot. Well, it's not hot now. Thank God. Yesterday I was sweating. I was dying out there. <laughs> By the way, Siuni, have you have you still recovered or you're um you're still dealing with it with the pain? me down the charm of the corpse too but I survived the power the power growing inside me the power to tear the son of a bitch is living large on there <laughs> I thought uh, you all would understand I mean going around killing people randomly I mean I don't think he support this what what do you want to do No. I can't be Why? part of this. You son of a... You were the first of us to make it out. And look at you, dressed up for high, high goddamn society. And where you come from, huh? Where's your family? <sighs> oh, Finca. he's in pain. Stop. Get away from me. Don't you ever show your face to me again. You're no family of mine. You're nothing to me. Good family talk. What the hell do I do? I get how he feels. I do so much that it hurts, but murder is murder. Ah. None of this makes any goddamn sense anymore. If Dell was here, he could tell me what to do. <laughs> do you help him kill? Question mark. Do you want to help him kill? Find your own answer. That's... You have to think and find your own answer. Damn it. That's easy to say, but the hell I'm supposed to do? Me and Dell, we would have died in there, day after day. I mean, you can't really depend on him all the time. He's dead. No offense, but you know. No. I. What do I do? Vince is not backing down from this. I can't tell. Hey, what would you do? No, never mind. You're not Dell. Can't ask you to tell me Oops. what to do. Exactly, you had to figure out. But when I got my own answer for Vince, they would stand with me, yeah? I'll be counting on you. Don't worry, I got you. I don't know what's. I'm scared. What do you mean? Everything's fine. I've got to decide my path now. You're gonna be fine. I wish I could give him a hug. That is a tricky situation. 
realistically, I would tell him you gotta stop him from killing people because killing is bad. Obviously. Oh, no just... Alright, no new information. Alright then. Now you're gonna be fine, Suni. Alright, um. Can we do Alonso's questline? Hmm? We can do Juna. <gasps> we can do Alonzo. Alonzo. I've been looking all over you. Why are you here? Or uh, for more dramatic effect, you. There was a deeper meaning to Alonzo's sacrifice, and I would have not. I would have not. I would have you know the truth of it. Alonzo said he's gonna. He's going all in on you, so I did too. On the new world you're going to create. Tell me. They're familiar with the tavern he used to. Wait, is he actually dead? What? Allow me to introduce myself once again. My name is Dutteran. Bro, I'd like to thank you for your assistance. Is he dead? Nah. There is no shot. Your assistance, what do you My mean? Assistance. Oh, damn, I sound pissed off. <laughs> right then, where shall I begin? The execution was proposed by Alonso himself. He agreed to bear the weight of my crimes and die with them. Wait, he's dead? Wait, what? I actually thought he wasn't dead. No, 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 no. Hold up. Time out. Time out. Hold up. Nah, he's not dead. He's not dead. I still don't believe it. Hey, Joe, welcome in. Mm -mm. I don't believe it. He's alive. That is, under one condition. He had me declare my support for your candidacy by naming you as the key figure who put an end to the people's suffering. And in doing so, Alonzo would accomplish his goal to bring you great renown. <laughs> what are these answers? He's not dead. What are you talking about? He didn't mean to die for something like that. Perhaps. It was meant to be a form of atonement. All right, bro. This little dialogue scene is kind of getting me annoyed. Like, we all know he's alive. <laughs> like, stop acting like he's dead. By giving you recognition and building your reputation, he could pave you a path to the crown. I still he don't believe it. He truly believed that you could change the world. He's probably in the background just drinking some beer or something, you know? Alonzo entrusted me with this letter, or rather, with his last words. I wager you must be furious with me. I'm sorry I didn't let you in on the plan. I knew you would be against it. Believe it or not, <laughs> I considered myself a just person. My cons were always in the service of a greater good. I convinced myself that it was all for my hometown. For my mother. But that pretense crumbled away, along with her life. I realized everything I'd done was out of my own selfish desires. Such a man ought to die. So, I found a way to make a worthy end of it. Come to think of it, death, too, is perhaps its own selfish escape. When you stopped me, I could finally confront that about myself. The truth of the matter is, I like lying. I like tricking people. Perhaps I never needed to be a good person. On the day of my execution, 
you'll be lauded as a hero, and everyone in attendance will be none the wiser about my deception. Yes, before long, you'll ascend to the throne, and the world will become a slightly better place. All thanks to my lies, I've done far too much wrong in my life. But in my final moments, I will become the kind of person I've always aspired to be. Oh shit, I just remember I told him, yeah, you should lie sometimes for the benefit of it. What if the landowner is Alonzo in the suit? That's what I'm believe that's what I think. He's not dead. He's not dead. And I'm not saying this just to like be dramatic. I actually don't think he's dead. I owe it all to you. Maybe I'm deniable. Even though I know this <laughs> wasn't the conclusion you wished for. You have my gratitude. The devious schema. Alonso, Bro, this is such bullshit. Virtues. Your tempered bond has become a fire forged trust. I don't Thus, believe it. A new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of his newfound powers, work to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. I'm calling bullshit. Remember your promise. Become the king. You're not gonna trick me, you trickster. I'm not falling for that. That's not helping him. Mm mm. Trickster. I don't believe it. Are you all right? What kind of question is that? Do you do I look okay? I got to win. Now. I have to win. No matter what. You mustn't be hasty. Alonzo believed you could bring about a better future, didn't he? All right, stop talking about him in like the past tense. He's hiding in that barrel back there. I know he's back there. Like he's in that barrel, like the second one. I see his hair right there. He's back there. He's hiding. He's hearing everything. You there? Bring him what we've discussed. This is Alonzo's fortune. Though half of it was pinched from my coffers. Still. The fact that he managed to steal all this is quite impressive. What do you plan to do? What are you planning to do with it? Rest assured, I won't be taking it with me. Not after all that's happened. Alonzo intended to give this money to his village, but he was terribly distraught when they wouldn't accept it. However, if you, the hero, were to give them the money, That'd be a different matter. Might you donate his fortune in your name? Uh, no. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Sorry to break it to you. I'm evil. If that is my friend's wish, then I will. Thank you. Please grant this wish of his. I don't know why you keep talking like he's dead. Like I'll make arrangements I don't like this guy. To transport this to the village. Until then, his property shall be in my care. I'm the cameraman. Come speak with me once you've arrived. I ask this of you in his stead. All right, whatever. I'll just play this along with it. Me. He's fine. I still don't believe it. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not falling for that. Bond with letter letter level up. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. His his uh class is trickster, okay? I'm, you're not tricking me. I'm not falling for this trap. <sighs> We're prepared as we can and tomorrow's the big day. We'll be up against Louise at this time and be ready. He'll be ready and waiting for you. you. Captain, surely you uh, rip. Hmm. You gave me about speaking out loud, but is your mind truly clear of doubt? Somehow. I mean to say, you strike down a man who is not the true enemy. Heisman, what do you mean? He is the true enemy. 
I don't feel that way at all. It'll be fine. Yes. However, I challenge you on this only because I think it's foolish to be brought to a standstill by it. May I speak? I do not believe Luis is innocent in the slightest. On the contrary, in a few months he has slain the king and your comrade besides. Is it any wonder that people seek to end his life? He has lived by an every step he's been served as a purpose. Mm. He sealed his fate and you can I mean I get it, but I'm I'm gonna try to be a professional gamer. Um, what was the last boss you beat? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, Louis in the Oprah house. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the last boss I fought. Yeah, it was Louis. I mean, I did fight some of the um, other, what's it called? The other peoples who were in the tournament, like Loveless and stuff like that. But the last major boss was Louis. Oh no, yeah, yeah, never mind. Leah's right. Leah's right. Yeah, thank you, Leah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a lovely um, Thursday. I was about to say Friday. It'll be all right. You're already in second place in the contest. Countless peoples have thrown your support behind you. Never forget that. <sighs> Aizme made a pretty good point. If we're gonna take back the country, you can't let any self-doubt stop you in your tracks here. Can't lose. Everything we've done has has been for this day, so let's take it all in and stick it to Louise. Let's do it. Yeah. Thursday was alright. Quite nothing eventful. No. Um, I was pretty chill. It was my mother's birthday, so just spend time with her. Which means Louise challenge you in your formal duo on, on my birthday. Hey! Now we'll remember this as the infamous birthday battle. Yeah, I think this is what's gonna happen up next. Yeah. Right. Did you get any um Cool birthday gifts. Besides. And that and now that you declare yourself the prince, it's not like you can afford to fall on your face. Oh, thanks for putting a lot of pressure on me. Sick. That reminds me. September 24 is my IRL birthday. Oh wow. I think that's why they put the, that date exactly because of your birthday they knew it was your birthday okay. and they're like you know what let's make the moment happen in that specific date <laughs> just for you now i can't lose the battle now time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer we can't lose the battle now it's finally here Oh, um, also, somebody did ask me a question. I'm sorry. Um, I think I missed somebody's message. Oh, okay, never mind. I was just double checking. If I miss anybody's message, feel free to retype it. So, we set off. The hell's that sound? So we set off to the royal capital and I said battle of our lives. I'm a little disappointed. I just had begun to grow. I cannot say the same regardless. We've done all we can. Let us depart. All right. All it takes is a day to get from here. We'll have them in the sea for folks shaking in their boots. Let's meet up at the runner once we polish our breakfast. All right. I'm not even a bigger Alice fan. I'm glad. At last, I'm glad you're. Um, only a day remains. I'm glad this game 
pull you into the Atlas fan base. Whatever Luis throws at us, this is where we end it. Between him and the criers, he certainly made a production of this. You don't suppose it's a trap? Nah, he just loves a battle that'll make history. That's the bastard through and through. Yeah, I don't really see him cheating or setting up a trap. I feel like he's actually one of those people that will fight us straight up. Indeed. The man's in first place right now. Not much he stands to gain from subterfuge. But I'll admit, I have my own suspicions. What? Losing your nerve, old fella? Me? I'm ready to lay the bastard out. I own at least one solid whack in the face from our Dell. You can start with one for Dell. Give him a hundred for yourself. If he becomes king, the kingdom is finished. Maybe even destroyed from the sounds of it. Rella said as much too. About the country being overrun with hordes of humans. That might be his real aim. I mean, we don't know yet, but... Though I can't for the life of me think why Luis would want that. I thought he'd made his name as this grand human slayer. I feel like either he's a human or he was raised by humans. I don't know. Maybe he likes humans. At the very least, we know that Luis will not wield the king's magic to save this land. We have our own future we're dreaming of. For Maria and Fabienne. For Grius and Rella. We've got to win this. For everyone's sake. Alright, don't put a lot of pressure on me, okay? I'm already, like, sweating over here. Relax. You would pursue peril. You're... You would pursue... Great. Let's move out. I beat the quest boss called... The stage is set for the decisive battle to take place in Grand Trad. Mm -hmm. And so the gauntlet runner takes to the sky. He does not return within the hush of teleportation magic as a mere wanderer. But with the fanfare required of one who would claim to be prince, he is a boy no more. He stands now on equal footing with Luis, and his triumphant descent over the capital will finally make that known, whether or not his gambit is only a means to an end. Let me block the ads. Ads were about to start, I blocked them. It's His Royal Highness, the Prince. We've been waiting for you. Go and teach that damn Luis a lesson. I'll try. Finally. This is better than any of the fables. I'm putting all my money on Luis to win. Hey, who said that? Execute that person. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It would be hilarious if I said that. Sounds like they're more excited about the spectacle than about the prince being alive. Still, suppose it makes sense. It's kind of like a new episode of Jersey Shore. You know, or Game of Thrones. Upon the rock, we are squarely set in second place. Even with the gap between us and Luis, the prince has faithful supporters. Though it is not truly his highness's face wrought in stone, but our captain's. After all this time, I cannot help but feel conflicted. Luis spares nothing for an old woman like me. Saint Rella spoke truth. We need the help of his royal highness, the prince. He's the boy with a saint's blessing. He's got to be genuine. If the Sanctus Church's power is waning, should I take His Highness's side over Luis? Even after her confession, they still keep her words close. I suppose no amount of past sins could make them forget her genuine kindness. Seems strange to say, but we owe her a great deal. Without her, the people would never have calmed, much less placed their trust in us. 
We can't let them down. But looking around the city, some of the fervor seems beyond reason. Your Highness, you can't stop it, Luis. You've got to kill all the idiots who believe in him. They're not right in the head. Uh, I don't know about that. Is that right? You're the ones who aren't right in the head. It's because of stiff old cowards like you that this country's been spinning its wheels. Not ever getting better. Damn. Then why hasn't Luis shown up yet, eh? Sounds like he's your coward. After he arranged all this, too. Did it, did it, damn. True enough. If he doesn't even show up after all this fuss he's made, everyone would feel like fools. Probably going for another big grandstanding entrance like at the royal funeral. He's gonna fly down from the sky. So care what he's planning. Either way, he's dead meat. Save your fury for the fight ahead. But still. Over there! His Royal Highness the Prince has arrived. Wow, and Lady Juna as well! I say, nothing wrong with an adoring public, but this is getting more claustrophobic than the engine room. We don't want to get stuck. I, uh, I'm popping back in the run. Let's head to the Hushed Honeybee Inn for now. I'm sure Maria will be happy to see us back. Maria! I haven't seen Maria in a while, so... All the customers say they're on your side. I was surprised at how popular you are. Um... Thank you for helping. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Maria. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I tried my very, very best. I never thought Luis would be the one throwing down the gauntlet to you. If he'd survived, I'm sure he'd say the same. You'd better get some rest tonight. Come on, Maria. It's time you went to bed. I wish we could stay up and talk more. Good luck tomorrow. I'll be cheering for you. It's finally happening. We've got to win this. For Grace's sake. Alright, you don't need to put a lot of pressure on me. I get it. Victory is in our grasp. We once thought it impossible to save His Highness the Prince, after all, and he now lives. But without the King's wards, we'll be fighting on even ground. He won't make this easy on us. The King's magic lived up to the legends. Capable of shaking the world itself. Every man, woman, and child has been at its whims for months. Not the kind of power any of us want in Luis's hands. But... Will this fight truly settle everything? By the spell's own rules, the throne will go to whoever wins the most support. Even after this battle, the crown's fate isn't set. We saw how the people's hearts have been whipped to dangerous passions. When the dust settles... Whatever they make of it, we've come this far. All we can do now is finish our fight and strike to kill. Any less, and Luis will cut us down. Indeed. Let us now devote ourselves to victory, and then worry of what comes after. We must believe in all we've yet accomplished. <sighs> this should be our last battle against Luis. I'm just trying to stay hopeful. Knowing how far we've come, now you've awoken your archetype. Forged friendships. And taken so many burdens on your shoulders. You've really risen to this fight. I mean, I had to. I'm the main character. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the ads to be over. I'm sorry, everybody. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. I'll pause. I'll, I'll pause the game here. <clears throat> well, they're putting a lot of pressure on me. Just saying, there might be a chance I might lose the battle and we all die. It's just an FYI. You know. Now that would be interesting if I do lose the battle. They are doing a good job hyping this, though. They're building up the... For the moment, you know? I do like that. <laughs> yeah, those 90 plus hours have to take a toll on... Yeah, that's why for me, like, when I finish this game, I'm not gonna do New Game Plus until, like, I don't know. I might take, like, a week off or something, and then I'll go back and play New Game Plus. That's the problem with games that are really long. What's it called? Like, 
long games are fun to play there's a lot of things you can do but at the same time it can also kind of burn you out i think that's the problem with like persona 5 persona 5 was way too long so at some point i was like all right i'm done with this game <laughs> maybe that's why i don't really like persona 5 that much Not the biggest fan of that game. Alright. This is just the beginning. I'll probably play some other games in my backlog. Yeah, it's good to take a break from... Um, from a really long game. I did that with Persona 5. At some point, I took like a couple weeks off from the game. I was like halfway through the game and I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a small break. So far, I haven't really needed to take a break from this game. I've been enjoying it so far. Uh, I am for sure going to take a break once I'm done from this. And like I said, I'll probably come back to New Game Plus within like maybe a week or two. Uh, make sure everybody's getting some snacks, hydrating, um, take your meds, your vitamins, do all the self-care, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Ads are, uh, we need one more minute, and then we'll come back. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this one it's just the beginning uh, I hope they let me prep for the fight because I'm not really that prep I wish I can change my outfit. That would have been. I mean, you can change your outfit in combat, but if I could change my outfit right now, I would probably put the Persona 2 outfit. <laughs> Persona 2 or the the Odyssey outfit. Eh, mainly Persona 2. It'd be kind of funny uh, walking around with a school outfit. Uh, I would like to get Persona 5 Royal someday. I mean, uh, right now they're having a sale for Persona 5 Collector's Edition, if you ever want to get that. I think it's like $70, $80, and you get the whole game, and you get like the bag and everything. Uh, but welcome back from that, everyone. Alright, let's jump back into the game. This is just the beginning. We've still got a long road ahead. True enough. We haven't even won against Luis yet. And even when we do, that won't be the end of it. Mm -hmm. But it takes me back. If the prince could see you now, he'd be pretty proud of you. Don't you think? I mean, you and he were best friends. Best friends. Wait, what? What's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? Oh, sorry. I felt like I'd misspoke for a second or something. Don't mind me. Anyway, we'll make sure this is the end for Luis. Gotta report our victory to his highness personally, right? Oh, this is a rank up. All right. What is it, seven? Yeah, seven. It's like I'm seeing the prince smile again. May skills up four. Right. Let's get some rest. We'll need it come tomorrow. Ooh. It's been a while. So? It's time. What now? 
Um. Damn it, if I had one more slot. Fascinating. This, all right. I'm counting on you. Oh, I forgot to level. Um, I forgot to get this class too. Got a cool look, trickster. Steady effort is key. Oh, transformation. Leave Faker the time with more skills for awakening enemies, weakening enemies, and producing random effects. It's not bad. Alright, it's level... 10. Just have to get it to 10. My power swells forth. Oh, 13 actually. I have retained my edge. <laughs> my power swells forth. Wait, do you have steel? You do. It's kind of sad that Ninja doesn't have... I mean... No, never mind. Ninja's pretty good. Pretty good. Blessing. Um, five percent is not that much. No. Transfer MP is pretty cool, I guess. What else I can do? Please. I could give him um, dodge electricity. Actually. Wait a minute. Nice mate, what do you have? Do I want to steal? <laughs> Keep this to yourself. Yeah, he can use four types of magic, fire, ice, electricity, wind. 
Hey, Mood, welcome in. How's it going? I'm just prepping for the fight right now. Oh, you little bastard, not gonna let me. Keep this to yourself. You can use four times of element. I don't like the fact that there's a dot dot dot. Fire, ice, electricity, wind. So he's gonna go for the weaknesses. It might not be the best option, but it's something. Think of the care package. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. We're just been playing some metal for. Um, we're just prepping for the so-called final fight. I don't think it's gonna be the final fight, but we're prepping. That's gonna cost a lot. Uh, I mean, he has a decent amount of MP. All right, hi, Smay, you're good. Uh, Juno, where are you weak against? Like, Tristy. And what do you have equipped? Oh, you have the wizard mask. He's probably not going to be weak against any of the elements either. I might have to use physical damage on him. Oh, you're gonna start playing Stardew. The one bad thing about mods is that you uh, you still have to like you have to keep updating them. That was my only issue with the mods. But um, I hope you have lots of fun. Let me know what you think. Stroh, you might have to come in. Weak against win. What? Um. He's gonna lose some strength though. In the name of justice! Who has this equipped? Elvenberg. Oh yeah, I haven't finished your thing. Oops, my bad. Yeah, you're good. Pokemon breaks good, right?
Um... I'm thinking about it. But then I won't have any attack. Oh, actually, no, I will have attacks. I would. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get this. Um... I might counter. I mean, he's gonna cast his sword with magic skills on it, so he's gonna do elemental. I think it would be better. Are you playing on normal hard? I was playing on hard in the beginning, but I decided to just play on normal. Cause I I uh I think on my second playthrough I'm gonna play Regicide. I didn't really like the fact that they locked Regicide behind New Game Plus, but it is what it is. I could find him in hard mode right now if I wanted to. I might try in hard mode. Just for the fun of it. Wait. Could actually be pretty good. Wait. Covers a medium amount of HP and removes the buffs effect. I'm guessing that's only for one person, right? Yeah, that's only for one person. Not really that good. I've acquired a new power. Uh, I, I might try finding him in hard mode. I really wanted to play this in Regicide. I really, really did. But my mindset is that um, I don't really see what's the point of playing in hard mode. If you're going to play Regicide. That and surviving with one character like 10 HP. Yeah, hard was um hard was pretty challenging. At some point, maybe it's more challenging now, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, if I give, so I have holy shell transformation. His magic counter. Just in case, I don't know. He might affect us with something. He might. Wait, is that the same thing? Oh, I'm missing freaking shell blessing. Um. I didn't think of that before. Never mind, I might have to keep you in there. Yeah, I'll keep you on Paladin. Plus, I'm trying to level up. You're almost close to maxing it out, so. Oh, Juno, Juno, what am I going to do with you?
Mostly it sucks a bit because of... I mean, I do like that. It kind of reminds me of SMT. Um, I'm a big fan of challenging games. I always play, for example, when I played Persona 3, I did it with... I played it on Merciless without controlling my teammates. SMT, I played it in hard mode. Um, I beat Persona 5 in Merciless. So I, I was looking forward to playing this on Regicide, but I didn't know it was going to be locked behind New Game Plus. But I have been thinking about going back to hard mode. I mean, I guess I'll just keep you here. That's fine. Damn, your MP costs a lot. Alright, I think we should be fine. We'll see if this works. Might be a terrible idea, but... I'm gonna have to be very careful with you because you're weak against electricity. Heisme has a chance to dodge it, but... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Alright. We'll try in hard mode. What now? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I feel like I'm gonna be stuck in this battle for a while. That man. Regardless of your aims, it seems Luis has his eyes on you for some time. No doubt he's been. Well, if he asks for a fight, as a fight of us, a fight will he shall have. We should stand proud of against him. I got you. Once you settled in one on one, of course he does. When all you can care about is everything has to be a duel. Speaking of his old right-hand man, I can tell you this man's strong, terrifying strong, can't afford to get careless. Oh, thanks for scaring me, bud. Come we'll on. see how this goes. Watch me die a bunch of times. At long last, my lord, our investigations have borne fruit. We know. Where the true prince lies. Oh shit! Those loyalists who disappeared with the prince led us right to him. We found traces of their coming and going. Where was he hiding? Far to the west of the royal capital, deep within a forest said to bewitch those who should wander in. An old village erased from today's maps. Uh oh. That said, against all odds, it seems that this place is the lost village of the elder. Last trampled by Fortin's troops, sent to burn it to the ground. You knew then. I see now. To hide in a place publicly declared as destroyed. Quite a gamble. The prince was born there, you know. An illegitimate son, after the past king's heart was drawn to a woman of the village in his youthful years of debauchery. Dun dun dun. What? Then the prince really does bear elder blood. Forden did not raise the village for any defiance of his scriptures. He thought only to eliminate an inconvenient heir. A threat to his power before his birth was known. The prince's survival, his complete disappearance. This was the missing piece. Zorba, go and snuff them out for good. Sir, consider them annihilated. I've been hoping for an opportunity to test this. <laughs> Newfound power. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I hope they realize no. it. The battle at the royal capital looms. I must begin my own preparations. If you call yourself the prince, then I will give you a prince's end. And I have just the spell to do it. Uh uh oh. Look at that. Look at those eyes though. Those eyes were Time menacing. marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. 
<clears throat> Good morning. Did you sleep well? Ready to face the day? Same as any other day. Same as any other day, I suppose. No nerves, even. <laughs> I'm good. Nothing ever seems to phase you. It's quite admirable. But you have to come back. No matter what. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry, Maria. I'm gonna die. <laughs> that would be so sad if I said that. Yeah, I'm... There's a chance I might die. So if I don't... If I don't come back, I'm sorry. Be a good kid, though. I confess my mind strays back to the royal funeral. Yet we are more than we ever were then. Now we have the power to see this through. Let's um, get there, thrash him, and come back here to celebrate. Yeah, the last time we said that and we had a plan, someone died. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> we had a plan and it didn't go according to plan. I never thought we find ourselves back at the Grand Cathedral for the final showdown. Let's pull ourselves together, ready our supplies, and give him hell. Okay. Where's the egg of the king? <laughs> What's um. in there? Can we talk? Just sublime. Look at that poster. Oh, there's rumors about me right now? Right now. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. Wait, what is dodge? Oh, it's a passive. I see. Or a uh, war battle. This. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Of course. Really? Ba -ba 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 -ba. New skills, new possibilities. 82%. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more classes. Six more classes. Alright, I think I'm pretty set. Wait, did I ever. Ch oh my god, I forgot to put my own skills. Oh my god. <laughs> my bet. Um. I should probably give him a physical. Oh, I could give him an almighty skill. Secret flame is an all-out attack, right? All enemies, all enemies. I hate that most of the skills you get sometimes are all-out attacks. They're not like a one single focus attack. I'm like, why? See, like, why does it have to be an all-out of enemies, really? Like, what did it have to be? I mean, I did like Lurking Nightblade because it does decrease his head evasion. For three turns, but it's gonna cost a lot of MP, though. I mean, I could just hit him with gold attack. <laughs> Should I use gold attack just for the hell of it? I'm thinking about it. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? Hey, goblin. Welcome in. Thanks for coming by. Increases their defense. It'll be fine. You know what? YOLO. We'll use uh, gold. <laughs> Why not? Gold attack. That's going to be interesting. 
I don't know about Lurking Nightblade, though. That's my only Almighty skill, which is pretty annoying. I guess I could give him a physical attack. Poison shot. He's probably not going to get affected by it. Forcer defense. I, I feel like it's going to work. That's going to be the best plan ever. I don't want to use HP skills. I'm not going to be able to dodge the attacks. The thing is, I know he's not going to be weak against any magic skills. He's going to resist everything. I'm either going to have to use almighty or physical attacks. That's what I'm thinking. There's no way he's going to be... I could drain it. Could drain it. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Could combo shield blessing as well, so I can get more MP every turn. Cause I'm gonna be in the back row anyways. What's my strongest back row attack from um, sniper? What about um you? Yeah. It might have to be you. You know what? I'm gonna try something. Oh my god, if this doesn't work, this might be the worst idea I ever had. I just wanna see something. Where's Shield Blessing? Shield Blessing. And then. I'm staying in the back. All right. I'm gonna try this. This might be the worst idea ever. <sighs> worst idea. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's the racist kid. Hey. Did you say it to me, kid? Can an elder really beat Louise? Like, really, really? Mom's always crying that Louise is scary. That means they're bad peoples in my in the, any tribe, right? So you have to beat Louise, okay? You become king even if you're... Bro, stop being racist! <laughs> this kid! Oh my god! This kid has no chill. Literally. Like, he needs to stop. Alright. We're going w we're going in with the original party of four.
Well, if this physical um, physical team doesn't work, then I'm pretty much doomed. What now? Just in case, Juna. Oh no, we haven't unlocked it yet. But just in case. Alright, I might have to bring Juna in. I hate the fact that you're weak against Pierce attacks, but it's fine. Alright then. I'm shot. Give them hell. We'll see. Ready? Excuse me. Move us move aside. Alright. situation I uh, can't exactly say I'm the tournament's official crier anymore things being what they are <laughs> I mean Sanctifex Forden and Saint Rella are gone bluntly speaking there is no tournament anymore but like hell if that's gonna stop me as a lone citizen watching over the future of our country you can look to me for the latest news on this upcoming fight. That's the real MVP right there. The real MVP. This is the only reason I'm playing this game, because of him. Woo! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Very good. Let's begin, shall we? The Day of Judgment is here. The final fight between Luis, military paragon, and one-man army... And the boy who claims to be the fallen prince. Hey, we are the, the prince. Continent's eyes are on this battle, folks, and only one of them's walking away. Let's see a show of true strength, worthy of our new king. Your highness, you can win. Give Luis the boot. Come, Luis. Kill that imposter. Uh, how do you know I'm an imposter, huh, girl? Say it to my face. Come on. Wh where are you? I don't see you. Yeah, hide. Looks to me like Luis hasn't even bothered to show at the royal capital. Well, there's no way he'd run away from this. Any time now. Any time. Whoa, over there! It's Luis's gauntlet runner! And so the leading candidate finally makes his appearance. He's gonna fly down and be cool as always. Oh, never mind. He's just there. Luis. Look at him. So cool. Majestic. The two titans of this race have finally come face to face. Let's introduce our candidates once again for this final bout. Our first candidate, Count Luis. Ooh. Yeah, we hate Louise. I actually do like him. He's pretty cool. Adopted son of a minor nobleman, he rose to fame on his incredible military merits, quelling domestic conflicts and almost becoming our nation's youngest general. Suspected of attacking his highness, he was denounced and cast down, but his name has since been cleared, and now here he stands, closest to the throne. Boo! We don't like him. I do like him, Loki. He's pretty cool. Then we have the Elden candidate. He who claims to be none other than His Highness, the Prince. Though his identity is uncertain, his strength is undeniable. Through his campaign, we've seen his team flourish, counting even the songstress Juna among them. Yeah, more pops, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time has come to demonstrate his power. Will it be enough for this youth to take the throne? Hell yeah. 
the scope. I have to commend you. A lesser man would have run. So why are you here? Oh. Oh. I can roast back. This all began with the king's failings. He was an unworthy ruler, and his incompetence bred the chaos that followed. You, who claim to be the prince, what do you believe the people seek in their king? Hmm. Not only power. You can have the power, but if you don't have the intellect. I mean, you need power and intellect, but I feel like intellect. The intellect to resolve everything. <sighs> Many would dismiss idea, but resorting to force is never the answer. I mean, yeah. Can intellect alone protect the people? In the end, words are nothing against power. Yeah, but if you have the power and you don't have the intellect to maintain that power, then... Now let me ask you, my gathered people. What is it that makes a king? Power! For your duties, kill him now! Only the strong can rule! Bitch, where are you? Who, who's talking? Who wants to fight? Your Highness, show us your power! Young candidate, have you or your party any final speeches before the duel? We have only one thing to say. <laughs> pay per view Louis versus Link of Battle of the Thrones. <laughs> Just look at the power stance he has. I know he's he's too cool. Wake up! Luis's fair world is barbaric. A land where the strong prey on the weak. He promises protection, but he is the very man who would see you slain. I know, I'm still surprised there's people out there who support him. Like low key, like you do realize he like basically said, "Yeah, I'll I'll do whatever it takes," even willing to kill innocent people. Like, whoever whoever's voting for him and believes in him, y'all are y'all need y'all need to talk to somebody. Hear this, Luis ordered my home destroyed by a human. Are we a land of animals? Or are we a nation united in the protection of the weak, in raising up our neighbors? Yeah! You tell him, Stro. He's the type of man who will kill anyone who gets in his way. If you crown him king, I know the country will burn. Rella said as much. People, do not let your hearts falter. Oh. Are you scared? Are you nervous? I desire but one thing. A world without inequality. And I shall gladly offer my shield to all of those who follow this ideal. Yeah, if they're strong enough to follow. Those who do not, however, will be slain without mercy or regret. It could not be simpler. Oh, yeah, so basically if you're weak, bye-bye. If your equality means you will sacrifice the people who need help most, then I deny your world! So, you think you have the strength to protect the weak? Then prove to me these are more than empty words. Alright. He's full Go health in. this time. And act your part in this showdown. I have a new world to build, and you will die in its name. This is so hacks. Like he's cheating. His hair's like floating. Like why does it? Why is the game trying to make him look cooler? <laughs> like we get it. He's cool. Oh, I should have stole. Settle this here. There is no escape. 
he's gonna go for the weaknesses. Come, accept my challenge. Tactic. Falkenberg. Ninja. Several ailments. I have my methods. Still have them. Closing the distance. No holding back. Right well on. done. Observe the enemy. Whose turn is it? Chance of formation. Now accept your fate. Can I steal anything from you? Oh! Could have had like a cool weapon. It would have been cool if I could steal the sword. Vanquish evil. <laughs> no, not the all yours, but come. I will Helpful as ever, quite a boon. Thanks. What are the chances with him? Mustn't settle for the easy way. Strolls number three again? A favor, if I may. It's okay. We can do this. I need to pass that turn. Come on. In the go for it. Let justice prevail. Is that all? Can you endure it? I strike to kill. Nice dodge. Maybe. I don't know. Ha! Sucks to be you. Then again, to the vanguard, I'll use what I must. I show no mercy. What still happen? Here's Thrill! Closing the distance, I call upon royal power within. Hack and slash. Is it come? Everyone, oh, no. I see. It would appear you have the metal to defend your claims. Then I need not hold back either. Hmm? We're not going full power? Excuse me? Can you endure it? Uh, I don't know about this now. Come. Oh, you little Accept bastard. My challenge. The audacity. I strike to kill. <laughs> the way. <laughs> Ooh. Of course you would hit him. Hulkenberg, your attack power's dropped. 
Oh, it does stack. Good to know. Let me help. Thank you. Quite a boon. I owe you. We no still have this here. It's not gonna do much damage, but it's something. Strike me if you dare. I might have to heal next turn. I will annihilate you. I'm gonna have to heal. Can you endure it? <sighs> Come, accept my challenge. <sighs> sure, go for it. I strike to kill. Actually, allow me to use this. You defy the rule of strength. Then die. Well done. To the four. Samurai. <laughs> good. Very good. Yours is a worthy power. One untainted by petty tactics or cheap tricks. However. Oh, oh! Wait, he did have a spell. He said he's gonna do something. Magnificent! You truly have become more powerful, but I would expect no less of a remnant of humankind. You're a survivor of a lost tribe. Oh shit! You? Humankind? Because he's elder, you would call him a monster. Uh oh. You should know the truth by now. After all that time I allowed you to spend on that pagan island. History as told by the Sanctus Church is a fiction. Uh, what? No doubt you saw all the evidence of a truer history. One that told of ancient times where the land was ruled by a far different people. Uh, yeah? You mean the legends according to the murals and ruins from the temple? Funny uh, side note. I think it's funny. Everybody's probably like, uh, why are y'all talking? Where, where did the fight go? <laughs> you I didn't pay for this. Humor him. But if that war between gods truly did come to pass. Gods? How droll. They may have governed all things with works far beyond ours. But they were no gods. They were an ancient tribe unlike any other race now lost. Wielders of true magic. The modern age saw them called Elder, shunned from our cities. But in their time, they were known as humankind. Dun dun dun! Oh, we're we getting more backstory, okay. I thought humans were those mad monsters. What are you trying to say now? Luis, dog! Your lies will soil His Highness's name no longer! You believe it false? What would I stand to gain from lies? I like how he was losing the battle. He's like, you know what? Let me talk to them. Let me tell them some backstory so they don't try to beat me right now. <laughs> and they're falling for it. I would just keep attacking them right now and kill them. Elda are actually humankind? Why wouldn't I know that? Why wouldn't you just kill him right now? Why are you letting him talk? Hear me! His appearance as a boy is mere trickery in truth he is humankind he is kin to the feral monstrosities that roam this land leaving carnage in their wake he doesn't know when to give up no one would believe this madness no need to distress yourself i'll show you the proof oh damn he's like yo let me i'm spitting facts right now but i'm not even gonna spit facts i'm gonna give you the whole meal and I'm not surprised. This guy's freaking genius. He's super smart, so. You, boy, who call yourself the prince. You will be the cornerstone upon which my utopia is built. Utopia? Are we just gonna let him do a spell on me or what? Truth, good people, 
you would know the identity of your would-be prince? Here he is! humans is laid bare they're no beasts but another form of the elder tribe cast aside their guys with magic and they reveal their true colors oh he kind of looks like no royalty no boy but a ruthless fiend intent on your throne it's not true it has to be one of the count's illusions what illusion that's no prince it's a monster <sighs> it'll kill us all Run! What has become of him? It must be Luis's wicked magic. Yet, well, the old What in the attack on Titan? It's exactly like a human's. He's not! Oh, Isa. A human. Hey! Step out of it! You have to stop this! Ah! What in the... I blame all of you. Why did you let him do this to me? <laughs> Hello? Mary? Perfect time to slam. I know, they could have slammed him when he was uh, talking. Uh, Mary, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, for all the new friends here, my name is 1AM. Some of you already might know who I am, but if not, uh, I'm a Rise streamer. We play a lot of different games here. Mainly some Final Fantasy fourteen, and currently we're playing some Metal 4. Uh, it's nice to meet all of you. Uh, Mary, thank you so much for the raid. And um, come say hi to us. <laughs> hey, hello, Cactus. Welcome in. Uh, by the way, if any of you need to step away, you're welcome to just relax and lurk here. You don't have to follow or anything. Uh, Mary, if you have any post-stream stuff you need to do, go get some food. Um, thank you so much for raiding me. Uh, just a heads up, we are pretty deep into the game so if you don't want to get spoiled totally understand if you just want to lurk or you need to step away uh we're in the middle of this epic cutscene right now uh a lot of stuff is happening so uh thank you so much for the raid appreciate it um actually ads are about to start so i'm gonna wait for the ads to uh to be over and then we'll continue with the game hey crash welcome in uh just a heads up everyone ads are starting so we're gonna wait for the ads and we'll continue with this. But up up how was your stream, Mary? Where were you um what were you up to? How was the um, the crime? The crime today. If you don't know Mary, by the way, a wonderful streamer. They play a lot of uh what's that game called? Crime scene Is it Crime Scene Kill Cleaner? Crime Scene Cl Cleaner. And they also play Dragon Age, if you're interested in that. Stream was good. I love crime scene. Uh, I don't know if I should be like happy for you or scared that you like playing a game that is about crime and you cleaning the crime. Should I be scared? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit concerning. Um, but yeah, Mary, go get some food. Thank you so much for the raid again. Please go give her a follow if you haven't yet. And uh, Crash, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for coming by. Uh, like I said, we're in the middle of um, of like a story moment right now, like a cutscene. So we're gonna wait for the ads to be over, and then we'll jump back into the game. Right? Thank you again for everybody's patience. The second I'm not here, it's okay, mood. Welcome back. I'm off to bed. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it, Mary. Thank you so much for the raid again. Uh, get some well-deserved sleep. I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye, Mary. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things just happen right now. A lot of things. Um, uh, I was getting attack on uh, attack on Titan vibes from this game. Uh, when we when uh, I started learning about humans, I I was like, maybe the Elder Tribe is basically the humans. Maybe they can become the humans. Because there isn't that many of the Elder Tribe anymore, so. Rash, you missed, you missed it. A lot of stuff happened. A lot.
this right here is kind of reminding me of uh, Xenoblade. The moment where um, Shock, uh, Shock is like in his mind trying to figure out what's happening. Can I marry? Can you give uh, Mary one more shout out, Crash, if you don't mind? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. We're just waiting for the ads to be over. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you, Crash. Uh, but yeah, for everyone who came with the raid, uh, feel free to uh, lurk and relax here. You don't have to chat or anything. You can just vibe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Was it too unrealistic? Was it too naive to win? I wonder if I'm if I'm gonna be able to be snapped out. Also, I realized I was I was gonna mention this when he transformed. He kind of looked like uh the main character for SMT. Yeah, like the 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 icons and everything. He kind of looked like the SMT three character a little bit, except he wasn't. Well, he was kind of glowing, but he he kind of reminded me of him for some reason. <laughs> Does it show the last dialogue scene from? It's exactly like a human. It's not. Yeah, um, I'm still gonna blame my party for this. Like, why did they uh just let him use the spell on me? And then why didn't you like kill him when he was talking? You know, like he was talking to the crowd. You could have backstabbed him and killed him, but no, they needed him to talk. Yeah, Crash, if anyone missed it, um, again, I'm pretty far into the game, so if you don't want to get spoiled, totally understand. If you have any questions about what was happening, feel free to ask, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff just happened. We're getting a lot of story and backstory of the humans and the ancient peoples from the past. <laughs> I mean, we never got fully information about the Elder Tribe. We never uh, got full details of like about them, so... Spill it all for me. Uh, we're humans, Crash. We're the human monsters. Apparently, we were uh we were just fighting Luis and we were kind of beating him, and then he just decided to tell everybody like, "Hey, this fake prince of yours, he's uh he's a monster. Look, and he did some magic on me, and I transformed to this giant human like monster, um." And I think I'm in my head right now. This is like, I don't even know where I'm at. Like, maybe this is me thinking. But yeah, I transformed into a human. A big human, apparently. So, all right, ads are over. Welcome back. All right, let's continue with this. Nobody's caught it trickery and even my Be very body. Be not child. Tis not thy true self. Tis not thy true fate. In this moment, thy mind is disturbed, twisted by the power of that man. The time has come. Thou must face the truth deepest within thee. What's that about? The deepest Remember truth? Remember again, thy true self, the purpose of thy birth. My purpose? That's right, I took on a mission to save the prince. An ideal world. Even if reality crushes everything I believe in, even if my ideals languish, I know I can trust you to see them through. It's always been that way. Whenever my life's been the hardest, you are always there to help me through it. After all, you're mine. What am I? Fin finish the sentence. Wake up. Wake up. Hey. Oh, Are shit. You well? Uh, I had a strange dream. I had a strange dream. You seem coherent, at least. 
We saw you take on a terrible, monstrous form. We knew not what to do. You had vast reserves of magic poured into you. It was eating away at your body and mind, but I've managed to suppress it. He may be back with us, but without rest, he will surely succumb to the spell. I don't know if he can withstand the same magic a second time. I will not let you die. It would appear the throne is now mine in every sense. None remain to oppose me. Your vengeance is at hand. Will you not finally slay the monster and avenge your people? Shut up! <laughs> Unfortunately, the prince is finished either way. Both this imposter and the true prince at death's door, deep in the woods. The true prince? You bastard! What have you done? Bloody hell! Is that why he called us here? It was all just a bloody distraction! Your part in this has ended. Go where you wish, but I advise you run fast if you would outpace your hunters. Seize the monster! I don't care if you have to kill it! Attention now! This looks dire! How could you deceive us? I knew all along that filthy lowborn was hiding something! Monster! We retreat to our gauntlet runner. We must find him safe haven to rest. It won't be long until the entire kingdom hears of this mess. We've no safe haven left. Gallica, we've only got one option now. I'm worried about the prince too. I know. We'll head to my home and the prince's refuge, the Elden Sanctum. Oh, we're going back home? Oh, damn, they're throwing stuff at me. Like, a lot. Holy shit, I went from... <laughs> I went from 2 to 513. Damn. Well, everybody hates me now. Count Luis has saved the country. He has driven off the human who sought to usurp it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay. I'm gonna be honest with all of you. Two things. Or a couple things. One, not the biggest fan of how that was executed. Because one, like I, I was just saying, why would you let Luis talk? Like, that makes no sense. You could have killed him in the back, like stabbed him. The whole point, it was a duel. Whoever won the battle was going to win. And you let him talk. You let him turn around. And you let him use a spell on me. Like, how more... Like, you basically let him win. That made no sense to me. I'm sorry, that's just me, though. I would have just killed him in the back when he was talking, but... We were winning the battle, too. Count Luis that didn't make any sense to me, but... Savior. Sounds like we've got our next king, then. We might as well fall in with him. He'll keep us safe from any humans at the very least. Uh, yeah, he's gonna welcome the humans. They'll... They'll be alright, won't they? Take advantage of the mistake. Yeah, I mean, I understand it's for the story, but I just didn't like how that was executed. Because they had, like, they just stopped fi fighting. They were fighting, and then they just stopped. Luis started talking. Like I said, he turned around. He started using magic. They could have stopped him. They let him just use it on me. And it also doesn't make sense. I guess the crowd didn't see it, so I don't blame the crowd, but... If the crowd can see that he's doing magic on me, wouldn't that, like, oh, he used magic against him, he became a monster, wouldn't that, um, like, if I was there and I saw that, I would be like, hey, well, he was using magic against him, he did something to him to make him turn into this monster, isn't that kind of, like, lies, in a way, but, that's just me, though, that I'm being a little picky. No monster. I'm sure they'll be fine. Luis, what the hell did he do? Stay safe out there, boy. The flow of that evil magla was surely born from Luis's magic. What a terrifying force. Oh my god, someone saw. Someone noticed it. I'll remember that sight for the rest of my days. But he hasn't got you beat yet, my friend. You can't tell me the fight's over. That was a little bit, you know. Oh, 1025. How did this happen? 
Anyhow, there's no time to waste. What do you mean, how did this happen? Y'all let it happen. Y'all let him talk. <laughs> I blame all of you. I'm mad at my party right now. What, what was that bullshit right there? You could have, like, stabbed him in the back, but let him talk. It was more of a defeat than it was a departure. They board the gauntlet runner and rush from the capital, as though hiding from the shrieking animosity of the masses. What more can they endure? There is no light to be seen. To be fair, I'm not really that... I'm not... A hiding place for the Ender tribe. Wonders never cease. I'm not that surprised, because I remember when, um... When we were having that little dialogue scene with the dragon in the back, and the dragon just let us, um, talk it out. <laughs> remember that dragon that was being taken over by, um, a human? We were all talking about pushing forward and all this, the power of friendship, and the dragon's just in the background like, yeah, I'll let you all talk first, and then we'll fight. We can marvel at it later. The mirror hasn't shown me anything for a while. I can't even see the room now, let alone the prince. No one. Just after we'd finally resolved... That hair is wild. Luis's final words troubled me. We must hurry on. Well... At first glance, it is a simple forest, deep as any other. But the observant may sense that every tree in its formation is ancient and grand, bathed in mystical serenity. The name of this place is familiar only to the few who grasp the truth. The ancient Elden Sanctum. We're back home. Can you walk, lad? Yeah, that's good. a relief. Seems like the rest on the right here did him some good. Poor chap's even got me worried. I'll shuffle along too. Hey, I reacted poorly when you were turned into that thing. I apologize. Uh, I would accept your apology, but it's gonna take me a while. I'm still pissed off at all of you. My mind just went blank. I, for a moment. I doubted you. Forgive me. I should have recognized Luis's drivel for what it was. Uh, I mean, you could have stopped them. I am gonna blame them. <laughs> I'm a little bit like, it's not even that I'm mad about them questioning if I like when I became the monster. It was more like, why did you even let him do that? <laughs> Surprised me too. I don't blame you. It certainly caught me by surprise. And he's hoping there can be no surprises worse than that. Well, if they're talking, next time kill them. Stab them in the back, you know? Just saying. But what a sea of trees. If we get lost in here, we're never getting out. I can sense a special barrier in place. Meant to deliberately lead people astray, too. A perfect place to hide. Gallica, how fares his highness? Does the far side mirror yield any news? No. I checked a bunch of times in the gauntlet runner. I'm not seeing anything. I'm worried. Hurry and lead the way. Right. Everyone stay close so we don't get separated. The village is this way. Oh, we're gonna see the real prince now. <laughs> he believes in a world where people can make their own future just like you. He's the only one who can see that dream become reality. Oh, is this where we read the book? Huh? This looks like... Who are you? Are you alright? My head's swimming. What is this place? The royal flower? A surprise to see them blooming here. Something about this place. Yes. The flow of Magla is strong here. It is much like the altar of the Dragon God. The Magla in the air seems to be concentrated here. 
What is this place? Gallica. Something the matter? Your mind seems elsewhere. Oh, sorry. I've got this weird feeling that something really important happened here. Anyway, let's keep moving. Shit. Here you are at last. <laughs> oh, I think they're baiting us. I think they're they were waiting for us to uh, lead him lead to the prince. I had a I had a feeling that's that was the plan. He's over there. I see him. He's up there. Everyone, I saw him. Get him. He's following us. Why? Well, we. It seems like they lost memory or something. I don't remember everything clearly. How odd. This place is clearly in ruins, but it doesn't look like natural decay. It was burned to the ground. One day, a bunch of kingdom soldiers showed up out of the blue without so much as a reason they made an inferno of the place but why why would his majesty order such an atrocity thinking back now it may have been Forden who led the charge I can't be certain but if it was up to him he would have done it just to purge the filthy elder tribe Luis claimed that the Elden people were just another form of the humans. If he spoke true... They're not. There's no way. I mean, anyway, I did transform. More than half of the villagers died in the fire. And those who survived were forced to hide in caves. That way everyone would think they were wiped out. Tis a shrewd ploy indeed. To hide in a place the enemy themselves saw destroyed. Yet, why did Alsace? No matter. His Highness is in this cave, correct? Yes, over there. So we're still having like little headaches. What? That? Uh oh. He draws no breath. Likely a stab in the back. I doubt he even had time to shout. I, I love how they did I feel like they implemented this part right here just to hit us with the this is what you could have done to Luis you could have stabbed him in the back this could have been him but you didn't just saying that like I think that's a little nice little um I guess you can call it like a little small easter egg in a way like that's that's what we could have done I recognize him he was the associate of the first operative I came in contact with. He was a lot more skilled than those Sanctus warrior monks. But now... Gallica, the cave is just ahead, yes? Yes. It's past the woods, over there. Then we move. <sighs> oh, there's other fairies here. Bye. A fairy. I think they feel a little alarmed. We all swarm in the place as a big group like this. For now, let's leave them be and move on. Come back here. Oh, there's blood here. Hello? Russell? You're safe! Huh? My word. Is that you, Gallica? Oh my god. I'm sorry. He's cute. <laughs> Look at his little eye. Look at his eyes and his, his ears. <laughs> you were his highness's tutor. Hmm? I know but one red-tressed knight. Are you the royal guard? 
The Lady Hulkenberg? By the heavens. Then... She's been helping us. Everyone here is a trusted ally. They've all fought to save the Prince. Alas. Oh, what a tragedy. If this reunion had only been a moment sooner... Russell, where is His Highness? What happened? Is His Highness safe? A few days ago, those detestable cursed thorns finally faded. I cannot tell you how long I had waited to see them gone. It was truly a joy beyond words. It happened before we could fathom it. A lone stranger, a loathsome figure, came striding in. His Highness had only just regained consciousness since the curse is lifting. Yet, to protect us, he threw himself upon the Assassin's Blade. We were horror-struck. His Highness lay pierced through the heart, and we saw him breathe his last. What? The Prince is dead? Well, game over, everyone. That's it. The prince died. GG's. No, that can't be true. The stranger was a master of magic. None could match him. Of the resistance's numbers, only I remain. Yep, GG's. The prince died. We couldn't save him. Who was responsible for this? I don't know who the murderer was. But he cried his patron's name aloud as he did the deed. For Count Luis, from the moment he appeared, I believe his sole purpose was to kill his highness. As soon as the lifelight left the prince's eyes, the stranger left with only a smile. An innocent boy, twice tormented in the clutches of assassins. All because of the family he was born into. Luis. There really is no evil you won't stoop to. Please, Russell. Where is the prince? We've laid him in the prayer room for now, at the end of the cave. He rests just this way. You're coming, aren't you, Muff? Um. I mean, actually, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I know. We have to see for ourselves. Ah, I'd heard a rumor that there was a boy candidate who claimed to be his highness. So that was you? Tis just as St. Willa said. <laughs> You're no scoundrel. Indeed, you risked life and livelihood to see his highness restored. Strange. Something in you reminds me of his highness. I mean, we did see him in that dream. I wonder if he did like a magic, if he, I don't know, maybe he had a spell or something that he casted before he died. Because we did see him in the dream. Something wrong? Uh, no, it's nothing. Well, I will go before you to the prayer room. Once you are ready, you are free to join me. If I go to the prince, I think I'll help. You're going to stay here? No. I must bear witness myself. As... As his knight, I must. They were just waiting for us to do all the work and then they jump in. get to the prince as quickly as I can the prince is in the prayer room in the lower level I don't want to believe it but we need to see him for ourselves it's nearly time that this voice long have I waited what in the Silent Hill it reminds me of going down the stairs from Silent Hill game where there's like a bunch of stairs you have to go down. Hey, you. I 
I associate with the group that's been shouting the prince. It's all because of them that another calamity has befallen us. Hmm. Now that I get a closer look, are you Elda? I'd heard that the prince was the only Elda within the resistance. I pardon? Hold on, did you really come here from the outside? What's going on? No, that can't be. Are you truly Elda? You must hurry. I would, but I want to talk. I want to talk to everybody. These resistance members can't keep on sacrificing themselves for all I care. It's not my problem. I guess that comes out, kind of came out sounding a little cold. I suppose I can't, I can't help carry the bodies away. There's too many for the old to handle all of his own. What? Right past the door, it's the leaving quarters. Okay. All was for this day. Who the hell is talking? Time. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're safe. How's the others? The others, they're fine. It's just a bunch of people who died. More importantly, Galia, we'll, we have to go to another petals from the flowers patch in the forest. Uh, what? Sure. Maybe later, okay? I'm still on a mission, so not really isn't the time to. You're even starting to talk like one of them. So weird. What? Huh? Are you trying to be a person? You're strange now. I mean, I feel like you're weird. How is that strange? I like that. The prayer room is located further in at this moment. It's being used to mourn those who are no longer with us. I pray you don't cause a disturbance. <sighs> the prince is just ahead. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready ready, but you know, ready as much as I could be or can be. Holy, oh wait. This is the awakening. Wait a minute. What? This is where we uh, awaken our powers. The people who brought the prince to the village called themselves simply the resistance. They feared the name would spread word of their existence. The numbers have grown deeper. And after today's tragedy, Russell is all who remains. I only have resistance now. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> the truth is, during the attack, I crossed paths with the. He walked through past me on the stairs outside. At the time, the only thing that struck me was his. It was only afterwards that I found out that he had just met. Massacre all these peoples. I tremble even now just thinking about it. Hello? To be honest, where is the place or mission has been using as a hideout? Or should I say it was beyond this door? Other than the elderly uh, Russell, the rest of them are. Perhaps we brought this on ourselves, but still, it's all dreadful. <sighs> You're from the outside, aren't you? Hey, mind telling me what's going on right now? Nobody will tell me anything. They all just say, don't leave the house. I know the fires were scary, but it's all too much to hold up like this. I, for one, have no intention of spreading, spending my life running between caves and forests. I'm trying to avoid going to the prince. I don't believe it. Oh, it's you. Being here lies ultra secret history. Friend from making any loud noises, Liz. Oh, forget the fairies. No offense, Kelly. Come off it. I heard that the elder considered. Perhaps that's a reflect in the current state of affairs. The child's royalty, yet his life has been defined by a tragedy beyond anything that I could have experienced, that have experienced. To think that there's those who would see such a, ch a child as no more than a prey to be slain to look upon a mere boy such as he and revive him 
their souls are truly cursed. Hey. The princes. Oh, Highness, for you to forfeit your life in order to save ours, it can only mean that we have truly failed you. There's, n There can be no atonement. No in it. No match. Hey, Quill, welcome in. This way. Oh, I did not mean to skip that. Did he say anything else? No. Your highness. anyone still remained to weep over this child hmm? Gallica you've returned Milady Gruade it's been a long time may I ask who this is she is the chiefess of this village the hermitess Gruade she was kind enough to shelter the entire organization when his highness fled to these woods I can't believe he's gone I'm sure some parapus orphan from the slums. I was never supposed to outlive any prince. Was he killed here? No. It all happened in the bunk room in the back. We moved him here to the altar once all was quiet. I don't know if you'd believe me, but... I received a revelation. Should the prince die, his body should be kept safe and still here until the rightful day comes, even if the boy is but a bastard sired by that despicable man. He is still Her Majesty's son. Despicable? What, you mean the king? But who's Her Majesty? Do you know nothing of the child's mother? The boy was not brought across borders to us. He was born here, in the ancient sanctum. His mother was our past chiefess, the queen of our elder tribe. Oh, shit! She was a flower amidst the forests, a woman of such beauty, grace, and kindness. She saved this child from the flames, and it cost her her life. Her death oh, is wow. on that man's hands. Like a piper, he wandered in and seduced the young queen with his idealistic tales. But he failed to protect his family and died powerless. The village was only set ablaze because the boy was in the way of the Sanctus Church's designs on the throne. And that insipid king could do nothing to stop them. But you see, this boy, His Highness the Prince, looks so much like Her Majesty. And so. Hmm. You there, boy. Are you perhaps... Uh, no, it can't be. And yet... Is something amiss, Milady Gruade? He is one of Gallica's allies. His loyalty stands with his highness, and he has risked much in the prince's name. Whoa! What's with the formal introduction? You were the one who gave us our orders in the first place. Hurry. Hey, are you okay? The that time voice. has come. Here thou camest to the end of thy journey. This secret place was home to thee. Is that the mother? Is that the prince's mother talking? Now remember thy path thus far. Walk thy life's road. And see it anew. I have been waiting for thee to overcome thy trials. Long have I waited for thy return. Know this. His life is not yet ended. Huh? What? Uh, I don't know who you are, but what do you mean? What do you mean? 
It all started on that ill-fated day when the usurper thought to extinguish his light. Before he fades away, recount all thou hast seen and felt, all thou hast gained in thy journey's course. <sighs> Look now to the past. I see the roads I travel on this journey. Gallica and thee sought to take the head of Luis, but thy efforts came to naught. So ye moved instead to join a tournament to decide the land's king. In the prince's name. In the prince's name. Though thy plan was reckless. Thou didst win the trust of the people by the support of peers and subjects alike. Thus, thou didst declare thyself the prince. This for all the victory. It was all for victory. After overcoming many obstacles, thou didst finally lift the prince's curse. Yet by the cruel machinations of another, the young prince. He's no longer with us. He's no longer with us. Thy sole mission was to save the prince. Bereft of him, thou hast no further reason to live. That's not true. That's not true. If the prince is dead, Wert thy efforts all for naught? Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. GG's. We died. Um. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm okay, Kwan. I don't need to take a break. Thank you for asking, though. I hope you can get some sleep soon. PC still day one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm start. Okay. Just catching up with chat a little bit. I feel like he still lives on me. I saw him in my dream, though. I don't think he's dead. I think he's still here. Maybe his body's gone. Like, he might look like he's dead. His will lives on. His will lives on. So thy resolve is yet unbroken. So be it. Thou hast earned the truth. He was consumed by the curse and was taken by a deep abiding slumber. Yet his soul remained alive. So from his earthly form, I extracted his soul that he might travel the land in Odyssey. And thus, his stilled sands began to flow once more. Thy journey hast taken thee far, and taught thee much. So now I ask thee, who art thou? I'm just a traveler. I am no one. I wonder if this really depends on different endings. I could be a traveler. Thanks for the love, uh, Mood. Um, I'll take a break when I when I'm, you know, I took small little breaks when there there were ads, but I feel okay. Thank you for the break, though, Quill. Um, I wonder. I don't think it really matters here. Traveler. I feel like this is a, tr a trick question. I am no one. I am a traveler. I am the prince's friend. I am the prince's friend. Is that truly thy role? Clear your mind and think to name but a few. Thy parents, memories of thy youth, Hast thou any recollection of where and how thy youngest years were spent? Uh, oh, yes. wait, that is... Thy memories begin the moment thou befriend the prince. Dost thou suspect the reason? I 
never got his pass. I didn't. I, I I forgot about that. It only shows us the pass where we met the prince when he was young. And all we know is his tribe where he lived was burned down. I don't have a pass? I don't have a pass. As I said, thou hast nothing. Thou art a being of mine own creation. Huh? Twas Gallica alone who the resistance laid their hopes upon all those days past. Thy life had yet to begin. All thou hadst, all that had been bestowed, was a memory. Thy mission to save the prince. I don't exist? Am I? Thy memories of youth in the prince's company and the void enshrouding all else in thy past. All signs of thy conjured existence. I... I have nothing? Nay. The words of the prince in thy memory are unmistakably of his true heart. The memories gained on thy journey. The friendships made. The trust forged. These true things art thine own. All thy trials, all thy experiences, were to prepare thee for this day, to share the strength thou hast gained with thy other self. Wait, I... I think... I have a feeling I know what... Do you, Do you mean... mean the trust and friendship I gain has been there to support me. But if I've known I came from from nothing, that I am nothing, would people have stood by me, believe in me? That is true. It, we had to have at least like a purpose, like a reason. Even though our tribes was dislike, same goes for the desire to help anyone in need. How is that that I? Such laughable and realistic believe this long. Accept the truth, and thou wilt face an ordeal beyond any you have yet faced. If thy desire is instead for freedom, thou mayest still abandon thy mission and end it here. Is that right? I see my true identity. So is. I bid thee answer my final question Who art thou in truth? Am I the prince? I am the prince. I mean, he always looked like him. He has similar features too. What is this? I feel a curious resonance. Could this be? But how? Impossible. Hey, what's going on? What awaits <laughs> us now? Hark, life is not yet lost. Thou wert born apart from the prince's flesh, born of his desire to change the world. <sighs> In his stead didst thou travel the world. Thou did support his heart. And became his living fantasy. That is what? Thy true self. Thou art everything the prince sought to be, his ideal.
Drawn by the divine relic, Magla coalesced into flesh, and flesh coalesced into form. What? The form of an elder, as I once was. Brother in Christ, what? what? My head hurts. I should have seen that coming too. I had a feeling too, but I was like, how are they going to... What? What is this? You don't want to know. What's happened? I just, I just start killing everybody. <laughs> you are the fantasy. New hair, new me. Thou hast done well to guide him this far. This voice. I'm sure I've heard it before. Thy mind should now be clearing. Remember now thy true charge. Honestly, she was the MVP because she guided us. If we didn't have her, this would have never happened. She was the one who set everything in motion. Well, not the beginning of it, but she was the one who told us in the beginning of the game what our mission was. That makes sense too, because in the beginning of the game, we didn't really know what we were doing. They even asked us, like, she was asking us, like, you remember the mission, right? And the character, well, with your options, you don't really have an answer. You're just like, ah, uh, can you remind me? Or surely, yeah, I remember. And then she would tell you what the mission is still, just in case, to guide you to where you have to go. MVP. MVP. He was never a member of the resistance. Yeah, and I also realized they never talked about his backstory. The only flashback I got from him was when it was him and the prince reading the book. That was the only flashback. Plus, also when he was cursed and he was laying down in that little table. And we were, go we were told what our mission was. That was the only flashback we ever got. We never got anything else from him. So that book... Like, what? So I was, I was a, a fantasy. I was just... Not, I was a make-believe. I feel kind of offended by that. She's the Zelda persona. That's why the elder you spoke to didn't remember him. Oh, that is true. Oh yeah, they don't they don't have any memories of him. I also started to realize when we were coming down here and we, I was talking to all the citizens here, they didn't know who I was. If I was born here, that's why like I had a feeling like something's wrong here when I was talking to everybody because if I was from here and I was a kid here, everybody would have known like, oh yeah, even the the elder, the one who protects this place, she would have known who we are. Oh. The mission, the departure, was thine alone, and thereafter didst thou encounter him. Who are you? They met. Wait, what am I saying? In those long ago days, he had just been born into this land. Newborn in form, if not in appearance, the boy needed a guide. Thus, I decided his memories would be thine. Thou wouldst share past and purpose, a memory so crafted to suit thee. My journey to the capital would not be made alone, but alongside him. 
No. That can't be. He was there when we got our orders. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? Yeah. You know what? I also realized, like, well, not just now, but I always had a like a weird feeling about this. In the beginning of the game, when we saw this first cutscene, I always thought to myself, why would they need someone else to infiltrate the military and uh, deliver a message if they could just send the ferry by itself? Galia could just fly over there. And it would have been much easier instead of us, like, having to, like, infiltrate the whole military and not be caught. This so I... is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. No. But... I was alone? I mean, it wouldn't make sense if they sent somebody. Well, send someone like you. You can, like, sneak in and fly and maneuver around everything by this choice he might be saved by these gentle necessary lies we could live to see this day when our dearest wish is fulfilled as he traveled alongside thee he gained both strength and wisdom it is only by thy efforts that my voice reached him he has now been saved and so the journey ends here Thou hast fulfilled thy mission admirably. Dude, my my brain hurts. <laughs> my my basically the game said you're the persona now. You are the persona. What? Wait just a minute. What do you mean it ends here? From here on, thy path is thy own. Choose thy own future for thyself, and may the fates smile on thy journey. <sighs> How do we make sense of this? Hey everyone, I got a new hair. Is it really you? How, I mean, how do you feel? I feel fine. I feel fine, I think. There seems to be no doubt. He is still himself. But I also sense his highness within him. Everyone? I need to tell you something. The truth is... So let me get this straight. You're saying it's not a matter of our captain and his highness joining together, but that the former was this disembodied entity sprung from the latter? Y yeah. We were the persona. Then that's why he had no memories? Because he didn't even exist? I, I mean, they planted memories, but it wasn't really like legit memories from us. There had to be a, a purpose, like, um, I guess you can call it, there had to be something there, because if we were nothing, if we knew we were nothing, this would have not went the way it should have. We, we would have went to a different direction. We needed a purpose. I see. Finally, I understand the strange feeling I had sensed upon our meeting. What shaped you, so to speak? was the prince's will itself, a part of his consciousness. Yes, the prince's very heart. He was his soul given flesh. Perhaps the form we knew was one shaped by material magla, much like how the dragon god manifests beyond the vessel Dracodios. A mass of magla with a will. Forget the dragon god. He may as well have been a dragon himself. Small kind of, yeah. He awakened to an archetype before anyone else. It was no great aptitude for magic. He himself was composed of pure magla. That 
that also makes sense. The self as a manifestation of one's desires, similar to archetypes. I suppose this is the very essence of magic. You, you mean to say that Ross not merely pretends to claim the prince's name. He truly was his highness all along. Dun dun dun. Well, yeah, so kind of yeah, basically, but not fully. If that's true, this is finally your reunion with your sworn liege. Seems like cause for rejoicing, eh? Lady Hulkenberg of the Royal. D don't Guard. hug me. But I. I failed to protect His Highness. No. I am sure the strength of your devotion had a hand in saving him. While all and sundry believed the lad had shuffled off, you alone kept the faith, my lady. And in the end, that faith was rewarded. Fate was changed. Are you really. His Royal Highness the Prince? Please, please forgive me, your Oh my god, this is weird. This is so weird. You needed me most. Oh, oh, Hulkenberg, listen, um... And more, uh, despite being a member of your royal guard, I did not recognize your highness at our meeting and showed you such insolence. Uh... <laughs> pronounce your sentence. I really want to say this. <laughs> I, pr I pronounce your sentence to death. I really want to say this just for the hell of it. <laughs> um, I'll go with you. Always been an ally. I don't. I don't want to do that to Hulkenberg. She's been going through a lot of motions. Actually, you've been there for me this whole time. He's right, you know. If we'd not met you, we'd certainly never have made it this far. That is true. Everybody had um a key point or a key part to get to this point realistically this time i will protect you even should it cost me my very life i swear to it finally we've done grius proud we've really done it by the way what are we supposed to call you now i mean how would you prefer to be addressed my lord Uh, nothing changed between us. You can just keep, uh, calling me Captain. No, your highness. With all respect, I must object. <laughs> okay, this is so weird. Like, she's so respectful for me now. Where was this energy before, huh? I'm just kidding. I wasn't really a prince, but... Ah, this is no time to be thick-headed, my girl. He's the one who gets to decide what we Bally call him, so we'll listen to him, eh? What? You, sir, should be begging his highness for forgiveness on bended knee. You mangled the royal runner to your own whimsy, you lout. <laughs> well, that is, I mean, it was, it was all dashed useful in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> A bit of clemency, your highness. So much for acting same as always. I sentence all of you to death. Y'all betray me. Hey, Anton, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's beyond belief. Not just that a child who'd lain cold for years could come back to us, but through such extraordinary circumstances. After so long in the curse's thrall, he could not even open his eyes. He may as well have been a corpse. But all this time, he had been on his own journey. It was the boy's dearest wish. He spoke of a fantasy of traveling the world, meeting its people, seeing its truths. And without him even knowing, magic made it real. He is a child of Elden blood and Elden legacy. All these years he spent in the village, he has rested near the secret of true magic. <laughs> Perhaps this is how it came to be. His was a fantasy surpassing fantasy. It became more than a dream, but a self-possessed force acting of its own volition. And now, reunited, Prince and Fantasy live anew. What a, um, what a bar. Fantasy surpassing fantasy. What a bar.
Take a screenshot of that. I'm glad to hear. Thanks for stopping by. We were just hit by a lot of information. We got ads in the, in the middle, so I'm going to wait for this. But, wow, that was a lot. So, apparently, we were the prince all along. And uh, I'm going to be honest with all of you. There was always a part of me that started, like, I started doubting something, like, about the prince and me around the time we got rid of the, the curse. When we got rid of the curse, I'm like, okay, why is not the prince waking up? I think he did wake up, but why didn't he get up or anything? So, I always had like a weird feeling about that, especially in the beginning of the game too. When I played the demo, I always thought it was weird. Not weird, but it was like, I thought it was like, alright, it's for the new player to understand the story. But like I said, when Galia asked us about our mission and we asked her, like, why wouldn't we know the mission, you know? Like, there were some parts where I was like, eh, okay. But I, did, I didn't see this coming still. Fully. I'm like, am I the prince? Am I? But we were the, the persona all along. We were not real. We were uh, made up. But let me let me get something straight first, though. Let me get something right. If anybody can tell me this. So was the book a relic? The book was a relic? Um, and that's why I was born? Like, made up? Is that what happened to in that point when we were born? Because we came out of the book. But if that book is a relic, it's a pr pretty powerful relic, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, so let me catch up with chat really quick. Um... Okay, just making sure if I didn't miss any message. So I'm guessing the book was a relic, right? I think they said that. I didn't really capture that perfectly, though. I might have to go back and watch it. But wow, that was a lot. I mean, people still hate us, though. I do like the new hair, though. It's kind of like bluish. Why? I don't know. Like it's kind of like wide, but not really. So, welcome back from the ads, everyone. A journey to discover and reclaim the self in all senses. No wonder he set off the custom igniter in the royal gauntlet runner. He was the crown prince himself. Even having it all explained like this, it feels like nothing short of a miracle. I can only guess that fate had a hand in it. Oh, that was another sign right there. The fact that we can teleport with the runner. It was designed for the for the prince. And we were using it. So that makes more sense too. Because we are... We were the prince. It, they did always question why we can have the power to teleport with the runner. That's right. I remember... I heard a voice. Guide him, it said. A guiding voice. A voice? Who's? If you can't remember anything from before our journey, then we probably met after you'd only just... Uh, happened. Right? I shouldn't have known you then. But for some reason, I was convinced that we'd always been together. I thought we'd both received the order to save the prince, too. Ever since the moment I heard that weird voice guiding me, a voice? Lady Gruaday mentioned a revelation. Hold on, are we still being mystic and metaphorical, or was there an actual guide involved? <laughs> I see what you did there. I know someone was guiding me. I just don't know who. Uh, I don't know why. I think that was the mother of the prince. That's what I'm thinking. So a disembodied voice. Hang on. Come to think of it, that sounds a bit familiar for me, too. Hey, who do you think the voice belongs to? Any idea? Uh, sort of. I have a faint idea, 
but I'm not entirely sure. Come to think of it, this place, the light coming in, they seem familiar. Yeah, that's where all of your awakenings are. I might say the same. When I first acquired this power, I had a vision of somewhere not unlike these grounds. Does this mean that we've been guided as well? Perhaps someone has been at your side, unseen. Watching over the course of your journey. I imagine all this comes as a great shock for you as well. But here you are. Back in your rightful place. You have come to the end of your arduous journey. And found new life. It is a life well won. Grasped with your own two hands. Chief Desperuid, eh? We want to know everything. What is the truth behind your tribe, the Elder? We Mustari are also said to have inherited truths of the world before us. Histories hushed by sanctism. But this village, it is something altogether different. I myself feel a strange familiarity here. A lost haven underground, yet letting of the sky's light. Please, tell us. What is the Elder Tribe? We don't exist. This was all made up. <laughs> Just kidding, no, we, we do exist. To know what we are, you must first know our history. Come to the altar room past the door. I'll wait for you there. Oh my god, we're getting so much backstory. When they hit you with a lot of story, when they hit you with story, it's like, story, story, story. Oh, look at my new look. What now? I was wondering if it changed my um my skills, but it doesn't seem like it did. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this outfit. Change the music to uh, Persona 2. Hey. How could this be? His Highness. Dinga has been alive well, residing in the body composed of Magla particle. I'm alive! I wonder how everybody would react. How could this be? It's truly a miracle. I think it was the late queen, aka the mother. Now what am I to do? That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. Why some that? Only weapons? Holy armor? Um, I think I might be able to come back here. I look into this. Wait. Oh, I'm not to do so. Oh, now this I can't believe. It was really a bright light, and there's a dead person who came back to life. Are all the royalty from the outside world like you? <laughs> the outside world sounds ridiculous. Yeah, don't go out there. Oh. What in the heavens? The dead prince is alive? The old man, Russell, must be dumbfounded. If the rest of the resistance still lived, I wonder how they might have taken the news. I mean, at least their sacrifices were, um, you know, in vain. The prince is alive. Sure, that somewhere Cleus is happy for us too. So we need to keep our heads up, okay? Huh? Wait, is that you? You're okay. You left in such a hurry. I was worried. Well... Sorry about that. I've been out here traveling. Actually, I got this really important mission. Oh wow, it's per it's per it must be pretty hard. I can tell just by looking at you. And I can tell you changed a lot too. You're totally different. It's because of this person you're with. <laughs> you two are just like the king and fairy of legend. Uh, 
kink and fairy. Yep, a long time ago, there was a man who traveled all across the world, and he had a fairy with him, just like you two. One day, the traveler become a mighty, became a mighty king, and his fairy companion became a wise, knowledgeable as a person. Everyone called her queen. Wait a minute. His fairy companion became a wise, knowledgeable as a person, so everyone called her queen. More of respect, Amy. That's the legend pretty similar to you guys, but huh? I... Queen, huh? But wait. What did the fairy do after the journey ended? Did she stay by the king's side? Who knows? I don't even know if the story's true or not, but if she did stay, I think it I think that would be lovely. Oh, this was where the prince was before. There's the bed I saw in the foresight mirror. Oh. Hello. Me? No, I'm part of the resistance. I just help out on my own time. I did that if you saw the coffins outside. Old man Rosso is on his own now. Ever since I was a kid, his old man been teaching me much about the outside world. Hey Peagles, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying uh, FF14. <laughs> All I ever wanted to celebrate with everyone once we had finally achieved our goal that we always dreamed of. Really? I hope the peoples don't blame the resistance for the attack on the village. We were all fighting for the same purpose. Really? How are you doing, right. Peagles? Okay, I'm sorry. All the doors look the same to me, okay? Holy. Wow, this place is very pretty. It's giving me a lot of Zelda vibes. A lot. Oh, it's you. Yeah, a long time I'll see. I'm, I'm so happy for your, your save. A long time. Has it really been so long? Oh, I suppose you're right. Wow. Well, guess you didn't miss me much. It's been several months, you know. Several months? Oh my god, you, it's keeping track of time now. Is she? What? Huh? What do you mean? A day, a month, a year, the people's talk. What does time matter to a fairy? You almost like them. But I guess that's kind of cool. <sighs> I'm just existing today. Is everything okay? I hope everything's fine with you. Does this depict the Elder Tribe? What does that guy have? Oh, I think those are flowers. Okay. Elder comes from an ancient word, meaning only the old ones. It was an alias given by our ancestors to outsiders who visited the village in the distant past. As for our original name, you know it well by now. We were humans. Oh. I got a lot of stuff to do. Not enough FF. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you're having fun, though. I can't wait to play with you um, this weekend. The human tribe. So Luis's words. There is no human tribe. Tribes, as we know them today, did not exist then. 
We were all one people. Humankind. Okay. A world united. But wait. The ruins on Virga Island. There's nothing left of the civilization today. Was it destroyed? Why? How? A war. One that all but destroyed the world past. But its destruction was born of the discovery of Magla. Or as you call it today, magic. <laughs> Do you wonder what they battled over? Without the divided tribes, what could they have disagreed on? They were racked by division. Over the abstract, undefinable idea of rightness. They tried to destroy something invisible. And destroyed only themselves. And any idea of absolute rightness is born of fear. That fear flooded the world. And gave way to war. And their age of prosperity came to be called the world before. The people we now call tribes were either born of artificial division for the sake of the war effort, or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape after. Mm. Many was torn apart for fear, by fear and anxiety, given rise to the tribes as we know. I mean, this is kind of leading towards more of the anxiety theme because that's one of the biggest themes of this game anxiety unbelievable we've met plenty of people caught up in pointless conflicts given the choice i know they'd rather live in a world without tribal division <laughs> so if you only knew we fight for the dumbest things feels like we've been a bit since we played together yeah i can't wait to play with all of you I'll be an arc mage. <laughs> wow, okay. This is like leaning towards the whole anxiety theme, which I really like. It's starting to make a lot of uh, more sense. And yet the truth is, that world's already fallen apart. More than that, it's how we all got here. Such drastic physical changes would normally have taken eons to effect. Accelerated by Magla, however, it was only a matter of a scant few centuries. <sighs> you understand now, yes. We, the Elder, are the survivors of the old world. Our ancestors fled the flames of war and thus escaped the ensuing divisions. <sighs> that means the prince, that is to say, I am a scion of both the old world and the new. Beggar's belief nothing short of astounding but then why do we know these monsters as humans by the war's end both sides were consumed by fear their magical assaults escalated with each retaliation until it was beyond all control our world became a hell rampant magla distorts the body and mind by now, I'm sure you know that better than you ever wish to. Yep. Humans are what remains of that branch of humankind that succumbed to melancholia. Broken, horrifying testaments to their own mistakes in the war of magic. Some persist, breed, and multiply as any beast does. Others live centuries of agony before their lives burn out. Even we do not know the full scope of their nature, regardless. When the eight tribes settled in this land, our claim to the human legacy was forgotten. To the people, the name only meant slavering insane monsters. Therefore, we took on an alias instead. The same one by which we are known today. The Elda. So, the old world couldn't control its magic, and... Wait. How does the Sanctus Church fit in? All this revisionist history to spread their magic igniters. Indeed, what are magic igniters to you? Tools for the church to shackle the people, perhaps? Or weapons that hide magic's true potential? Am I close to the mark? In truth, it's the opposite. Igniters are tools made to limit magic. 
Restraints made and self-discipline, meant to avert a repeat of history's destructive mistakes. That's starting to make more sense. That's why I always wonder why they were always asking that. Well, not always, but there was points in the game where they would ask us what uh, what we think about the Nighters. Like, I think one of the options was like, oh, they're useful or they're not really necessary. There was always that question. I was always wondering, like, why are they asking that question about about that? The Sanctus Church of today is muddied by greed. But its faith was born of good intentions. They once urged self-control, and thus control of one's personal magic. At times, they preached we must close our eyes to the truth when it would only lead us to ruin. By this benign tenet, history was obscured, and the Elder denounced. I had no idea. There's a grim irony in that. His Majesty only hid his son's ancestry to protect him. Yet in the end, that meant Forden could attack the village under any pretext he liked, his motives concealed. With all that said, you have now reclaimed your true form. The friends that stand with you are of different tribes and ideologies, but of one mind. As you are now, you may walk the path of the rightful king. The path of a modern world, where the tribes walk as individuals, yet with mutual respect and cooperation. The Sovereign's power, thou king to be, entrusted with the will of the people. To bear their hopes is to be their rock in the storm, and to face anxiety in their names. New power? Is it a true awakening? Yet, anxiety itself is not something to blindly reject or desperately cast away. It begins with a simple thing, acknowledging its existence. Oh. Ooh, that dialogue right there. Ooh, that's good. That's exception. That's good. You have to be aware of it and knowledge it. Okay, okay. Accept thy weakness, walk forward alongside it, and thou wilt grow strong and true in its company. <sighs> there is a weakness in people, so I'm sure there are many who would say that helping anyone in need is nothing but a fantasy. And besides. But realistically or not, I refuse to accept Louise's message as the alternative. The weak and those who descend don't deserve to die out of though as a nature order. Oh, we have a second awakening? Okay, that looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, it's called Prince. <laughs> Let's do it. If no one understands me right away, if no one understands me right away, I, I accept that. There will still be meaning in showing them my conventions in the fight to Let's come. Fight. That is my mission. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm with you to the end, no matter what. I, I should not be surprised that uh, there's a second awakening. I mean, in Persona games, there's a second awakening too, so. Gotta get going, get some stuff to do. Sounds good, Crash. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you. Don't like the usage of weakness of use alongside anxiety, but I get the sentiment, which is a good one. Yeah, I think I know what... I. I I think what I know what they're trying to um, tackle with the anxiety and fear. There's a lot of themes with this game, and anxiety is one of them. Why is this coming from? Before we got there, this guiding voice thing told me my duties were over. But bye, Crash. Take care of yourself, all right? Appreciate you. Thank you for modding. I'll see you uh, maybe later on Final Fantasy or tomorrow, okay? 
I gonna do? Just go, okay, bye? Especially after we've come this far together? No. I'm going to face Luis with you. Even if I, it is scary. I really feel like at this moment right here, every a lot of people's not everyone, but some people were like, yeah, you can go, you can leave. Because there is some people that don't like her. I actually do like her. She's not annoying. I still think Morgana's more annoying than anything. She, she, he was always bothering me. Go to sleep. Even you've got to cope with anxiety, eh? I've realized something in our travels. Anxiety can lead people astray. But overcoming it makes a person stronger. There's always anxiety in the unknown. I know what it's like to be afraid of something I don't understand. That's why I think it's my duty to help people face and connect with their anxiety. Is that okay? From now on, it's not about orders. I'm with you because I want to be. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'll be counting on you as always. Same here. Stick close to me, okay? Oh, I thought that was going to be like a, a bond level right there. Well, we're past the worst of it. But the problem remains. Luis's dark magic. You've seen it turn the boy into a monster. And no doubt he can do it again. A forbidden spell. Turn insane mortals into the fearsome human monsters. In other words, a destabilizing magic. Turning a person's magla into a snarl beyond control. This man named Luis. He may have his own past in this ancient sanctum. Luis has been here? What do you know of him? What do you wish to know? What, what was that forbidden spell? What is this forbidden spell? The essence of magic is in the control of Magla. However, just as its chaos may be calmed, it can also be deliberately pushed out of control. That was what you saw. He whipped your innate magic to a frenzy and you were lost to melancholia. Just as the humans of the ancient war mm, once were. Okay. In every age, the cause and effect are the same. People learn fear, become slaves to their anxiety, suffer. And thus, the power of magic is born. Pardon me. You mean to say anxiety is the source of all magic? Magla is a substance born of the heart, generated when one feels anxiety or fear. By certain means, it may be kindled into power. That is what we call magic. I don't know why. I know this is not even comparable, but for some reason... You know what just reminded me of this? It's not exactly the same, but it reminds me of why... Like in Naruto, if anyone watched the anime Naruto, it reminds me in the part where they explain how they get the eye. How Sasuke and his clan gets the eye and how it can become stronger depending on how much they love. It's kind of similar to an extent to this. Not exactly exactly the same, but kind of similar. I don't know why I just thought of that. I was like, Naruto? The eye? Power of love? In this way, it is by virtue of the anxiety in our hearts that we gain the power to overcome it. Magic is a natural process, and anxiety is its invaluable, irreducible fuel. But in turn, those burdened with more anxiety and fear produce more and more magla from their hearts. Without the willpower to face your fear, the magla overflows, uncontrollable by magic. It can give rise to strange and terrible happenings as it manifests okay. with the world embroiled in chaos. These outbursts of swollen magic may be happening all across our kingdom. It is the answer to everything. The melancholia crystals, the beasts driven feral. The very land is erupting with the weight of its people's fears. Hold on. If Luis's art is rooted in bringing out this chaos, then anyone might be next. He said he became a monster because he's elder, but that wasn't the complete story. If what you say is true... Indeed. All people today are ultimately descendants of humankind. If Luis so chooses, 
He could turn anyone oh, into a human shit. monster. Yet as long as you have the strength to confront your fears, even this transformation may be defied and overcome. What do you wish to know? Uh, tell me about Luis. Who exactly is Luis? Every time I heard of his doings in the wider world, I felt more and more sure that Luis is from this village. I mean, his he's got the book. Of humans, his skills in magic, his grasp of darker arts. They're all beyond a mere soldier to begin with, however prodigious. As it happens, a name does occur. Among those old families who perished in the fire, there was one by the name of Caradrius, a family of doctors, I believe. In an effort to better heal the ills of the people, they had studied spells much like the ones he now exploits. The details are long since lost to the fire. But if Luis bears our legacy, that may be the reason for his vast knowledge. Wait! What about Luis's ambition? The vision Rella saw. Do you think he actually wants to turn everyone in the kingdom into humans? There is no known magic strong enough to turn many people at once. And none that can be cast quickly. Even if it was possible, I don't know what it would accomplish. But this is Luis we're talking about. Who knows what he's thinking? Yep, but that's the scary part about him. people into humans, if in the unlucky event that happens... If there is any motive for such cruelty, it can only be hatred. If Luis is truly from this village, then their fire would have cost him everything. Such unjust tragedy could easily beget a thirst for revenge, even if it meant wielding I mean... a magic that twisted life into something terrible instead of uplifting it. Indeed, it seems the opposite of an archetype. A truly dark power. Who goes there? Someone flees! That's him! The malformed assassin who struck at the prince! He's bound for the woods! After him! What? Damn, you have like super mega top tier ears, Heisman. Run! Wait, can I check my new power? Oh, it's up here. What do you have? Well, let's see. Whoever's HP and P each time a support attack lands in the whole world. Oh, it's a, he has two hero passes? Adds four turn icons. Can only be used. Mm. <laughs> oh my god all right game game really said uh time to make you op op hello should i buy anything i, I know we should be chasing this guy but you know let me just buy some new gear What is your Why gear not? right now? What do you have? 335? Hello. Not really much of a boost. The sword's better. What now? I could buy the sword, I guess. Hello. Yeah. Actually, I'll buy four of them. Endurance plus six. Yufa can get this too. Those. 
my money. Oh, I'm gonna have to grind a lot of money. That's for sure. All right, I'm chasing, I'm chasing. I like how they tell me to chase the killer, but I'm like taking my time. We are, we had no catch days. However, we were swapped aside like pebbles. I could do nothing but watch. I was powerless against him. No. There was a little else that you could have done. Responsible as they, they were for the downfall of resistance. Any move we might have would have resulted in needless sacrifices. I don't know why. I don't know why he would have run away, but surely he has a plan. All right. I think I know who it is. But I'm not going to say for certain because you never know. I'm still going to stick with Soul Hacker because um I just have more options. Prince is too low level right now. Ready? Uh, let me save it. Just to double check. Ready? Stop! Yep, I knew it. You, Zorba. Zubat. You behind like the attack. It Indeed, it was. I killed the prince, though he died all too easily. And the odd thing was, his aura felt awfully similar to yours. So I decided to bite my time a while and listen. And it's a good thing I did. There really is something stranger going on. Who are you? Are you the prince or not? Whatever your answer, I must report back to Lord oh, Luis. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Do you have any idea what Luis is really scheming? If he becomes king, everyone in this country is doomed. If that is what Lord Luis so desires, then I shall see it done. Bro, what is wrong with you? It's almost impressive how blind your faith in him is. I suppose it's just easier to follow instead of thinking for himself. He's forgotten anything he really wants. Oh! Damn. Double Rose. What do you intend to do? The crown is too heavy a burden for your reedy frame. Lord Luis is the true king who will save the worthy. And you are nothing but a powerless imposter, only fit to be sacrificed. He is no imposter, fiend. His Highness has finally taken his first steps on the road to victory. Here, at his journey's end, after enduring these countless hardships, he has become a true successor, a true ruler, because he knows the people's suffering firsthand. I like how I'm just like, yep, that's me. <laughs> well, imposter or not, it's all the same if he's a corpse. I mean, I would like to see you try. So I shall return the prince and his dying legacy to the underworld where they belong. Bastard. Oh, it's the first one. I wondered why you ran away, but it was all to lure us straight to this monstrosity. Keep your guard up. The Melancholia is fueling his magic power. We've come too far to be stopped by something like him. Let's put our power on full display. Yeah, it's the first boss we fought in the game. But he looks a little bit different, obviously. Heal those apples, though. This guy shows up again just when we've unlocked some new power. Kind of feels like fate by now. Okay, <laughs> time for a new fight. Stay on your toes. Okay. Prince Archetype is an exclusive to the main character. You can change it as, you can change it out as you wish. Wait. Prince is an archetype. You can now change it as you wish. You can add a support for all. It has unique traits, not finding other archetypes, but none of its skills can be true. Oh, uh. I understand why. It's kind of OP. Is there another way? Let's work together. Not this. Wait, what does that attack do? 
Oh, it does. Oh, damage boosted against human times. Be nice, ninja. How about this? Wait, can I still attack the, the apples? I can. Well, time to go offensive. Are you prepared? I called impossible. Are you kidding me? That didn't do a thing. By the sworn oath of Nightfoot. I mean, it attacked. It hurt the, the apples. I stand waiting. Oh, I should try to steal if I can. I see your game. Oh, look at that sword, though. Now time for some close combat. Sprint. The blade's edge is still up. Huh. Face me. Uh, I'm gonna try to steal. Uh, I don't know if I can like steal anything from it. Nothing personal. I'll be taking that. Why, hello Ooh, there, thank you. Treasure. Now I call upon royal power within. Like this. I stand ready. Let justice prevail. Everyone, withdraw. That's funny watching me with this outfit. More apples? Quick, knock them off again. Ow. Charging in. More apples. Come forth, royal soul. Did I get the leg? I think I... I'll use what I must. I wonder if we can steal from the apples. Electricity's no good against them. That's the last thing we need. I wonder. Oh, power of kings. I have my methods. I shall vanquish evil. Samurai. The power of no good! That didn't do a thing! By the sworn oh, oath looks of like you can't brute force through this one. Oh, I can use it on that. Paladin! I'm gonna have to take that wing out. I wonder if the legs are no the legs are fine. It's the wing that I have to be careful. That's the last thing the we need. Still here? Huh. Perhaps Looks this like suits me best. Wait, this one. Uh... Forward. I'll use what I must. <laughs> Die! I, I dare say we've made our point. In way. the name of just Samurai. He didn't have the wing though, so that's good. I call the Not done yet. Is everyone a paladin? Strike me if you dare. Behold. I walk May a lot path. a lot happen. A lot. We were the prince. The blade's edge. Let's push through. Get the legs out. Face me! Slash! We've destroyed it. Now to the rest. Now, what's the play? Are you prepared? Um, uh, yeah. Hack and slash. Okay, I'm, I need to deal. I need to lower his stats after this. Aw, oh, you little bastard. Quick, knock them off again. Oh, good thing I use. Okay, that's good. Keep doing it. Yeah, we're uh we're the prince 
and the the character that we were playing as the whole time was not real it was basically a made-up fantasy that the prince a vision essentially um... Everyone oh, stats back here. Forward. let's go Should I take the legs out? Oh, no, the legs are out. I do need to take those those Time apples out. I shall vanquish evil. The power right on target. Observe the enemy. Charging okay. in for all that we strive. Damn it, for. I don't have anything to, to attack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Behold. No, it was almost dead. Damn it. Quick, knock them off again. We've regenerated the headwind. Here comes another round of wind attacks. Legs are back to normal. Shit, it's growing everything back. We've only just taken them out. Shields. We've got to do something about those apples. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sure. All right, leave it to me. You still not have vods on your on your stream. I upload them to YouTube. I'll be uploading it to YouTube um, after today. This should kill him. Nope. Nice to easy peasy. Let's go. Is I miss the? I mean, I can go back and uh, show you the cutscene if you want. To ever greater heights. Mm -hmm. Tremble before me. Ooh. <laughs> We're basically the prince. We are the prince. That's why our hair is different now. I say, you chaps boggle the mind. It's no mean feat to fight on even footing with a human. Hmm. I'd hoped as much. You may yet have the power to face Luis at his full strength. It's good to see you're safe. We've certainly taken these powers a long way. Maybe we thought ourselves invincible, but don't worry. At long last, the prince is safe. In a manner of speaking. Everything's going according to plan. Still, what's our next move? The people think you're a monster. We'll not find any public backing like this. Alces once said that his highness the prince was a soul born into adversity. He is royalty and elder both. Heir to the legacies of heaven and earth. He is water and fire in condemned conflux. When the day comes that his highness may be revered as the good ruler he can be, then the world will truly be free of prejudice. And that, he said, is why we fight. In his own words, huh? We have to fight for what he believed in. All the more reason we can't turn from this. Right. Years of prejudice won't go away overnight. Nothing could accomplish that, but if we don't believe things can change, they never will. Come what may, my life is a shield raised in your highness's name. Are you prepared to fight Luis to the bitter end? No, I'm scared. But let's fight together. We fight him together. Yes, by our efforts, we will stop Luis's reign. If he ends up king, He'll be sending all traces to the gallows. Not just us, but any innocent folks he doesn't find use for. <sighs> yep. We lost too many lives along the journey, and if Luis has his way with the world, such parties would become all too common. We have to stop him. Look, I'm never giving up hope either, okay? All we have to do is beat him, right? I hope you'll sing a victory song. Looking forward to the victory song. 
Well, we've got bigger things to worry about now. But I can't wait to sing it. You... <laughs> I'm still amazed. You really do look just like your mother. Truly, you are a child of fate. You never shown me how my mother looked. Your mother. She loved your father. And you with all her heart. The injustice that befell this village is not your fault. But listen well. Once you leave this village, you cannot return until you have fulfilled your ambitions. After all, an old crone like me can't take care of you forever. If you want to overcome your hardest challenges, you'll have to face them yourself. The world's fate is in your hands. Please, put an end to the tragedies of humankind's failures. Thank you for everything. Thank you. And for everything. Our final battle lies ahead. We cannot lose. Yet, before all else, His Highness has only just awoken. Let us rest in the Gauntlet Runner for today, and advance to the Royal Capital tomorrow. Alrighty then. So you know the truth about the Elta- Yes, I do. I do know the truth. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I was convinced we'd been together for a long time. But I can't believe we've only just met. Yep. That was some um, mind-blowing shit that hit us with. The beginning of my journey may have been a false memory. But my journey with you and the memories we've made, those are all real. Yep. Well, guess I'm repeating myself. But I'm glad we're working together. I do like my new hair, though. Stay beside me forever. Stay beside me forever. Well, when you put it like that, you're gonna make me blush. Aww, Thanks. look at these cuties. The mystical fairy. Oh, final Delica. form. She who still keeps the virtues of the mage. Your tempered bond has become a fire-forged trust. Thus, a new pinnacle of heroism awakens within thee. By the grace of her newfound powers, work together to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. Level 8. We've got the path to tomorrow in front of us. And I'm gonna lead the way. The party can now study Elemental Master and Warlock. During squad battles, you may gain an extra turn. Oh. Okay. So, we need four more. Obviously, we can unlock the special one. The Prince one is only for the main character, so... Yeah, we only need four more. Elemental Master and Warlock. When things get tough, remember this magic. The music meant for you will play in your head. I still like the fact that they're playing with the... I mean, music is kind of like magic to an extent. By the way, the Chief Test told me something about your novel. Apparently your parents gave you that book when you were still just a kid. I wonder what your parents wanted you to get from reading it. What they hoped for you, I guess. I suppose you'll have to find out for yourself. I mean, maybe that's what they would like the future to look. I mean, it's a fantasy, <clears throat> but we can make it in reality, you know? Yeah, we got a lot of information. I'll be uploading the VOD on YouTube, May. Um, I'll probably upload it like in a few hours after I'm done streaming. Mm -hmm. I still need to upload the other ones too. Book is the legacy of my parents, the late king. Perhaps Utopia sipped into the book wasn't a mere fantasy, but ideals. Ideals of the old world passed down. The part we're reading today is the last chapter. Oh, last chapter. It's about the ruler of this ideal world. Let's read it together. Wait, is it gonna mention me? The 
last chapter is about the ruler of a utopia. The one who governs this utopia must have an unwavering will. To maintain justice in this world, there are innumerable obstacles to overcome. Yet, as long as one lives by their ideals, those who support them are sure to follow. A utopia is not the creation of a single mind or a single power. It is a world shaped by all its people. The last part sounds a little more metaphorical. Hmm? There's a little more. However, even a utopia may one day fray at the edges, and its people may come to conflict over the question of what is right. What is a true utopia? What is a true ruler? None have yet found the answers to these questions. The true so-called utopia was within the novel was based on an old world, but it fell into the ruin and was destroyed by war. <sighs> So if this book traces the tragedy of the old world, are those truly the ideals we're striving for? It seems rather the opposite. So even the author of this book struggled with these questions. And if you become king, you'll have plenty of tough questions and struggles to face yourself. Yeah. Lady Cruadane mentioned the king was a real idealist when he first arrived at the village. But little by little, the pains of reality crushed his hope. And he even lost his son. In the end, his will was broken. He didn't lift a finger to stop the church's rise to power. With that in mind, I can honestly see why people would be drawn to Luis. His values are radical and cruel, but he's devoted to them. Unshakable, even. But we can't lose either. For the sake of everyone who has believed in us along the way. Even if we were to win the throne, there's no guarantee my idealistic vision could ever become a reality. Right. And yet, what choice is there but to believe in them and fight on? You've got the power to change the world. And the one who gave it to you was... Well? Yeah, basically myself. myself. And that's what I'm going to help you with. That's my mission. My real mission. And I'm going to see it through. <laughs> Fall asleep as always. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, more backstory. I was wondering about more too. I'm like, it's more going to show up? I saw what happened. So, you found a way to unequivocally shape your destiny. As far as I know, there is no record of your newly acquired archetype ever being used, even in ancient times. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical, known to some scholars as the magic of true sovereignty. Indeed, a power of legend. I once said that to be elder was your inescapable fate. However, it seems the truth was more complex than that. Magic is a process by which we confront fate and tame anxiety. And archetypes are its essence. They are manifestations of a resolve capable of heroic virtue. So then, what do you think is the foremost, most inescapable fate a person must bear? The foremost fate? Hmm. I'm not really sure, but... For me to be me, and for you to be you, or something like that. Indeed, it is birth that is inescapable. You cannot choose who you are born to, and once your familial place is determined, that fate cannot be changed. Yet by some strange tangle of destiny, you were given a choice that the very act of existence denies most people. By your own will, you were born again. As a prince, do you understand? You stand on the threshold of truly becoming a ruler, not as an unearned title of bloodline's chance, nor as a mere authority over people. You have taken control of your life. You are ready to rule your very self. That is what it truly means to be a hero. And it is the crux of the power that has awakened within you. 
What glorious coincidence indeed, that I, as a scholar of archetypes, might cross paths with and witness such a remarkably <laughs> fated boy. It almost bespeaks it. Indeed, tis his hands that bear our fate. What? Huh? Who? Who is it? Who? Uh, uh, I, I remember. Who's talking? I know that I know this voice. Had I forgotten it all this time? Yes. I swear I've heard it before. And I... I let it slip from my mind. It's the Who statue. You? you with this voice that moves hearts. Speak. Who are you? Why have you awakened this boy to his power? If it is answers you seek, then go and claim them. <laughs> She, she, she's like, I'm not going to tell you what the answers are. You got to look for them, buddy. Don't be lazy. You? Could you be? As for you, I bid thee awaken. Move onward to thy final ordeal. Take thy place at the final proving of the ascension of kings. I think eventually they'll show us who the voice is. I think I have an idea of who it is, but I'm not like a hundred percent sure. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Twenty fifth. <laughs> Okay, all our preparations are just about set. Oh my and god, it's just been a lot happening. of story. I've got some pre-show jitters. All this royalty? It always felt they lived in a different world to the likes of me. Never figured I'd be walking alongside one myself. This proof well, that jumps on you. decides nothing. We are one people living in a shared world. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is going to be our last mission. Any final words you want to say? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, stand strong to the end. We can't give up. Stand strong to the end. Of course. No way we're losing here. I've got the fire in me eyes now. About the new stuff you've felt and learned since becoming the prince. Can I ask you one more thing? Why is it that you want to be king? It's not about honor or power is it some coin would some coin would be nice make some money to protect my country i feel like that's the right answer to say like that's what you should be saying but i really want to say this just for the hell of it some coin you know i, I want some money i want to protect this country and its people just the answer i hoped for as your knight I will ever serve you with all my soul and ability. Well, I guess this means we're ready as we're gonna be. Yeet. Yeah. Alright, everyone. As you're playing right now, I'm gonna take a small little break. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, take this time to go to the restroom yourself, get some snacks. Thank you to everybody who's lurking and vibing here. Um, I'm gonna be playing for like another... I want to say maybe an hour more and then we'll end stream. I want to see if I can get to a dungeon and then save it there and then grind levels there during the weekend. So we'll see if that happens. But yeah, I'll be by be right back. I'll leave you with some music. And I appreciate everybody who's hanging out here.
I have returned. Alright, let's jump back into the game. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Where did this come from? Thank you, Moot. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Where do I have to go? Oh, I have to go back? This place here. Let's move. Oh. This place here. Let's oh, I have move. to go there. Alright. Need to say it will help anyone, but doing it a whole another thing. All the more reason that we gotta prove we're serious about putting our lives on the line. We'll lead by example. Besides, it won't be the first time we crawl our way up from the bottom. Oh, we're going back where everybody hates us. It's gonna be interesting. After having made so many sacrifices, the group has gained new powers and ascertained new truths. Their arch enemy, Luis already has one hand on the throne. Even so, they march ever forward, spirits rekindled by battle. They head to Grand Trad, for the fight is far from over. That Ilden boy is nowhere to be found. I suppose it's only a matter of time until Luis oh, takes Oh dear lord, the what are they planning? Speaking of which, I don't see the general. The voice of the pro Luis faction became too overwhelming. He was ultimately forced out of his position. Why is this happening? Even if the Sanctus Church's favor has collapsed, why is it that Luis alone is reaping the benefits? The public mind is the same as it's always been. It's too difficult to find answers in themselves, so they follow those who provide. We've certainly relied on that ourselves. It's always easier to follow than to have to make all the risks yourself. Now that we are out of ideas, what can we do? Can you imagine Luis on the throne? Can you imagine what he'd do with us? We'd be the first on the chopping block. Do we hide? Run? Our ships are in port. Is this really the time for idle chit chat? Who are you? Just a passing wastrel. The hell did I you get in there? For a word since I was in the area. You might have one way to survive. Is he going to tell them to support me or something? Well then, let us depart. Lord Luis, your pardon. We've encountered an unexpected snark. I killed the prince in the Elden village. I confirmed his death. Yet, it appears the boy candidate has merged with his corpse. It seems the prince is now resurrected. Resurrected? Yes, and what's more? The boy candidate was the actual prince after all. Something about his soul having traveled independently and then returning to his corporeal body. I see. So his ideal form was spun from Magla. Whatever the case, this means the land's true prince has reawakened in his sanctum. How interesting. After these long years, my chase may finally come to an end. My nemesis awaits. Lord Luis, what is it about that bastard that fascinates you? Yeah, I won't let it end like this. I have to do better. I need more power. I will show Lord Luis I Bro, am you are of his gaze. We'll soon be arriving above the royal. You need help, buddy. Excellent. As planned, increase altitude and enter the royal palace in the sky. Are you certain? We'll be heading directly to his majesty, the former king, and Rest assured, that old fool is powerless to stop me now. Proceed. Understood. Let the final banquet begin. 
Look at him touching his little gloves. Okay, buddy. What? Stop being too cool. Come on. Any takers? Any bets for the other candidates? Remember, if Luis loses, a silver coin could turn into mountains of rings. What are you trying to say? You think Count Luis is going to lose? Oh, no, of course not. I'll just say it. I'll call that bet. All in on His Highness the Prince. Damn. <laughs> a sanctus bigwig gambling away his tithes. This really is the end of the world. Didn't know his esteemed princeliness had any supporters left. I mean, he's not really the prince, is he? Was actually a monster in disguise all along. Haven't you heard the news? The times we live in, I'll tell you. <sighs> Must be tough, being an easy mark. It didn't take much for you to buy everything Luis was selling about the prince. The fireworks went off the moment he said, Behold! Remember? You don't think there's any chance Luis orchestrated the entire thing? Oi, churchman! You've seen Count Luis lie to us! You think he cast some big illusion? Bro, everybody lies. What do you expect? Like... An illusion, eh? What if I said it's a power more dangerous than that? Always struck me as odd. We all know Luis, the mighty human slayer, but how does he keep finding the things one after another? Seems a bit convenient, if you ask me. Like he knows in advance where these monsters will appear to cause havoc. Easy to nitpick and gripe about him, isn't it, churchman? Maybe someone needs to shut you up. I mean, you're doing the same thing with me. You're nitpicking everything I did. All right, all right. Let's keep things civil, eh? No sense becoming a monster yourself. Oi! What's all this fuss about? Damn it! When Count Luis is king, you'll all be the first at the gallows. You'll die just like Forden! Oh. Chase. Well, they're probably just as anxious as the rest of us. All that yelling and thrashing helps fight it off. Humans have been sighted near the capital, after all. I mean, I wonder why. It's more than that. Pockets of society have resented the upper class for ages now. But this might be the spark that lights the kindling. Luis's respect for power is certainly cruel, but it's fair to an extent. Those of us pushing the status quo have always struggled to understand the appeal. But even then, everyone's on edge. They'll jump at any excuse to argue and snarl at each other. Never seen it this bad. Not normal, I say. My fanaticism and doom go hand in hand. If we don't find some common ground soon, it'll collapse beneath us. Luis left saying that he'd be waiting at the royal capital. In one place he could be. All eyes are on his Skyrunner as it rises to the Flying Palace. I like how he's talking to this random gambler guy in the middle of the street. What are we about to see? Yeah, I wonder why he's going up there. Ah, the royal palace. It's been a while. Do you hear me, O oh king? Stubborn and deathless. This country Savage. is distorted. You and the other titled authorities decide who grows fat and who is devoured. The country knows no war only because Damn. our very core is built upon a system of societal predator and prey. It cannot be defied from within. That is peace, but not order. Hand over the royal scepter. The game is over. The country needs change, and I will provide it. Thou impertinent faith breaker. Hast thou no shame in preempting the day of judgment? Do you presume yourself a god? Is that why you wrought your face in stone and took it to the heavens? You're nothing. Just an ordinary... God damn, Louise, chill. How wouldst thou wield the king's magic? To what end? To purify all that your kind have left to rot. You threw away your ideals, but I 
will never make that mistake. Only the people's chosen may take the throne. The royal scepter and its resting place remain beyond you. <laughs> this royal scepter, the royal magic. Did you think that only generations of kings were aware of their secrets? Why someone can manipulate world-changing power by use of only a single scepter? Why only hmm. those supported by the people can use it? Listen well, O oh king. The truth behind the royal magic. What? Huh. You're not gonna tell us? So it's true. The country truly is putrid with sin. In other words, if I took hold of it now, then I would have the power to change the world itself. How didst thou learn of this? How? Thou art elder. You were not what? Big orcs. This country's rot. When you visited our sanctum, I saw and knew the passion in your heart. And yet, what happened to our village? What happened to this country? Fake horns. Okay, I did not see him being an elder either. Oh, I mean, he's from the same village you from the prince. Any longer, nor can anyone else. Save one low possibility. Oh dear. I mean. To an extent, I'm not really Snatching that surprised. Victory from the maw of catastrophe, the party descends again on the royal capital, Grand Tran. But they are greeted only by ominous skies. Their return hardly counts as a triumph, considering how they departed. Anticipating conflict, the gauntlet runner comes to a quiet stop. How can you be quiet with that massive runner? Oh, what why is it all red? wrong with the sky? I Isn't know. That... Oi! That monster boy's come back! Ah, that's why the sky's grown so hellish. The half-dead bastard returns with his head held high. A more aggressive welcome than I expected. Would any introductions help them to understand? No. It's useless. Words are cheap. Still, we should walk with pride instead of trying to keep our heads down. True enough. His Royal Highness, the Prince, returns. Luis distorted his form through strange and terrible magics, but the curse is now dispelled. His true form has been restored. Oi, if that's really his Highness, then tell us why in his majesty in the sky stop all this bloodshed. Because he's an imposter, just like Count Luis said. You're not fool us again, beast. Oi. Calm down. At least listen. And you. Never thought I'd see one of the Magnus brothers standing against Count Luis. Even the thick one. He took in a parapus like you, and you spit on him. Scum. Only thing traitors deserve is a tight rope and a stiff beam. And you want us to support the prince. Damn. Lady Juna, I can't believe this. I admired you. Why would you risk dying alongside some fake prince? I don't intend on dying with anyone. Besides, I'm still me, whoever I'm standing with. Hey, you chief. Weren't you the wretch who got kicked out of the knighthood? Now you're with this pack of throne chasers. Shame, shame. Mustari girl, you ungrateful pagan. Count Luis brought down the Sanctus Church for you. How dare you strike out at him? They're all traitors, I say. Bro. Y'all need to chill the F down. Y'all are talking shit, but you're not saying it directly to our face. You're you're with a bunch of crowd. What is all this? The truth of the prince hardly matters to them. Every one of them's only concerned with their own emotions and nothing else. We'll have your heads on pike soon enough. Leave! Get out of our royal capital! If they're just monsters, we can deal with them ourselves. How about it? 
I think their their anxiety and the fear is overcoming them and they might transform. This is bad. They really are out for our blood. Has everyone gone insane? Oi, over here. Don't bother with them. No talking this one out. You need to run now. Hmm, at least we have somebody. How the hell did we get around that? What happened? Why are all the people so bloodthirsty now? The prince turning into a monster before their eyes still lingers in their minds. After all, a monster entered into their society disguised as a person. No, that's not... I know. It's not true. But truth and how it appears to the citizens are different beasts. Moreover, humans have been sighted closer than ever before. The royal capital's populace is unused to danger, so they've become suspicious of each other. How fares your neighbor? Do you run in circles with monsters in disguise? Are questions on the tip of every tongue. Okay. Ever since Forden's death, Luis has everyone on a knife edge. He's erratic, and nobody knows how he'll react to those who defy him if push comes to shove. So, at the core of it, people are scared witless, and they cling to Luis as a savior, rather than the devil he is. You well know that Luis cares not one whit about social status, especially as a token of birthright. No amount of wealth or standing can buy his protection. So even those who may have opposed him at first now counsel that condemning him would be imprudent, as it puts their safety at risk. Makes then sense. We're stuffed. He won't save anyone. And oh yeah, he can create humans, by the way. Oh, that's all true then. I have my suspicions, but... It's still a bit of a jolt. This all said, in my humble opinion, what we're seeing in the people now has been in the works for some time. Now, has the tournament for the throne truly ever been a fair contest? The Sanctus Church bent it to its whim, and I abetted that. To my shame. Before I met you people, I didn't have much to me but anger and quips. Yeah, I'd rant and snipe and have my cynical little discourse, but I'd only looked to others for change. Now maybe that outlooks our real enemy. Blind fanaticism, like I had. Even if there's no malice to it, it's a dangerous thing. Hard to think clear when your mind's a muddy stream. We've been told Magla is born from people's anxiety. Perhaps the proof is now before our eyes. Yep. Kind of ironic. But we have to do something about it. If we don't, they'll never listen. We'll only ever be seen as an enemy. I had the inn prepared. They won't let anyone in but you lot. Let's head there for now, shall we? MVP? MVP. I don't know how we're going to change their mind, though. Oh my god, I can finally move. It's just been a lot of like story story, which I don't, I don't mind it, but but I feel like sometimes it can be too much. Like when they give you story like backstory, they give you backstory. Like this game is like story, story, backstory, story, backstory, and it just keeps going and going. I can move. I wonder what happens if I talk to people. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, wow. Now the Age of Power is time for the Righteous to serve up. This dead man is only the beginning. Yeah, kill all the nobles. It's too late to help the victims. Oh, let me explore. I can't wait to be able to like travel and explore again. I haven't been able to like do anything for the next past, what was it, like three days? It's just been a bunch of story and, and like boss fights. Oh, it's a fairy. Hey. 
Hey, are you one from the drawing? I knew it. You are. You're the famous one. You know how crazy the world is right now? Mr. Famous person. From where it, from where is to what it, everything's gone weird. Really? Even just flying around out here makes me feel gross and sick. So, Mr. Famous, can you do something about this awful sky? Yep, I've decided. I'm gonna leave the prom to you. People's folk, but... <laughs> I think I'll stay put in a while. I'll watch over you from here, okay? I mean, you could try helping. Smash it off the base. Just saying, you could help. Maria, I'm home. Everyone, I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Since you left, Luisa's following has only grown. Have you changed? You're still the same person, aren't you? Uh, Maria, I'm not trying to be rude, but you don't realize my hair? My hair is a different color in my eyes. <laughs> Tis quite a story, but it deserves explaining. I only hope you can believe us. Story time. I, uh, all right, wait a minute. Let me get this <clears throat> straight. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. I had thought all this business with declaring yourself a prince was a well-meaning bluff. But under the deception, you were, in fact, the actual prince. Is yep. that right? Still, I mean, how do you get the whole country to believe your story? Is that even possible? Frankly, I doubt it. We've just seen firsthand how far we'll get trying to talk the people down. Then what will you do? If this goes on... Um... But you're still you, yes? Uh, kind of. help everyone. Just like you helped me before. Right? I'll figure something out. Yes. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. <sighs> Good. I see. So, even if no one believes you, you're still determined to settle the score with Luis head-on? Even so... The gulf between us is wider than ever. The people have all but named him their champion. With so little time, a guileless appeal to the public may fall on deaf ears. <laughs> Hard luck for the honest knight. And not much room left for civil debate now that Luis is openly advocating killing his opposition. Well, that ship sailed when the king's magic faded. Anyway, if there is a key to turning the tide, First place I'd look is the castle in the sky. You saw how violent and volatile the city folk are now, but I don't think it's as simple as fearing Luis. I've been keeping an eye on the royal capital while you were off on your jaunt through the woods. Frankly, the change in public sentiment was too sudden, unnatural. It's as if they've been collectively drained of their sanity, and if I had to guess what's causing it... You're implying it's Luis is doing. All the eeriness in the sky. Is that because... Don't know. But the change in the citizens is certainly odd. If something really is forcing it, that means we might still have a chance to fix it. Mm. What Lewis is doing in the royal palace, whether or not his truly desires are were overwhelmed by humans, we won't know his mind until we confront him. On the other hand, it may well be bait for a trap. There must be something up there. There's got to be something up there. Then it's settled. Head to the royal palace and put a stop to whatever Luis is cooking up. With that Skyrunner, you're the only ones who can. And we'll fight in the ways we can too. We'll make sure the whole kingdom hears that the real prince is back after all the strife he's been through. Indeed. If you can make things better, you might just inspire everyone to remember their own hopes and dreams. <sighs> Maria's been terribly patient, waiting for you and believing in you. It'll be nice to see her smile again. Right. If Louis is behind all the disturbance, then stopping him will only help us improve the ratings. If we can restore Sibley, the rational dawn, he'll path the way by defeating Luis. We must press on. I'll always believe in you. We'll all do our best, so you can be a good king. Oh, thank you, Maria. Indeed. If we win, 
I suppose you really will be king. We're counting on you, O oh king. Tis too late today for a grand charge, I fear. Let us take a night's rest. And on oh, brother, I just got here. Let me explore. The game's like, nope. Story, story, you rest. I want to pick. Um, a lot of story. Can I go out or no? You little bastard. Oh, it's Mister. No matter what happens, you're still you to me, Mister. I'm gonna keep cheering on you forever. No matter what I say, the peoples in Grand are gonna look down on you. It's time, like, I mean, I'm used to it. Maybe this is what being, you know, talked down to throughout the whole game has prepared me for, you know? It's got me ready to for this moment. Who would have believed you were the, uh, His Highness, the actual prince? I apologize for less than the royal, but try to, try to have a good rest regardless. I will do my best. Is there anything back here? Nope. What is that? Is that cheese? Oh, I like like I like how there's a bunch of cheese there and then there's like a bunch of little eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maria's room. Oh, I like how um Hulkenberg is kind of like low-key trying to protect us. Like, yeah, go into your room. I'll, I'll protect you. Honestly. First you were Louis of and then the false prince, and now you have awakened as a true highness. None have walked so strange a path as you, and after all of this, you still mean to be a king. Come on. Some turnaround, eh? Last time we were here, people were falling over themselves to welcome you. Now the only thing I see in their eyes are fear. Damn it, peoples. Even if Linka turn into a monster, Louise is the one making them. That's a that's far a bit scarier if you ask me. Yep, that's what I will be saying. Alright, time to rest. Good night. Hey Uriah. Thanks for lurking. <laughs> the day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Thirty-one days remain. Oh, 31 days. All right, let's see. We have a couple of things. We have a lot of things to do today. Holy moly. To all the people who dwell in this land. This voice? Soon, naught but one month will remain. On the dawn of the day of the hero. The one who has inspired the greatest faith of the people shalt inherit the kingdom. I bid thee forget not these words. Alright, we got one month, apparently. Wasn't expecting to wake up to such a spectacle, but I suppose that confirms it. This is where it ends. Luis has already fortified himself behind the palace walls. Good thing we've got a Skyrunner. Or it'd already be over for us. Or perhaps... It is us he has been waiting for all this time. However disturbing the world looks now, it is only a prelude to the Deadland Luis strives for. Sky looks proper hellish already. And with all the humans out there, it's no wonder everyone's losing their grip. Well... He wanted a fair world where strength decides everything. Funny how that's indistinguishable from absolute chaos. But it's Luis who has the most support right now. And that wasn't born of deception. He broke the nation's order. And everyone knows it. Sure enough. That's what got Artella and I dreaming to begin with. Figured a world where the poor and weak get trampled on was a world worth breaking. Come to think of it. What do we all stand for? Ready? Maybe hope? Maybe hope. A little broad, don't you think? I mean, 
I don't really know what everyone's talking about. But everyone who's seen you and your friends say you're amazing. You make them really, really happy. Because, you know, you've got all the tribes in your team. Everyone's different. But you keep working together and doing great. You're so cool. A fair point. You're quite right, Maria. It is a Maria MVP. Word, so forgive my fumbling. But perhaps it is a matter of standing for something Luis does not believe exists. We must prove that it does. If you keep on believing in what you want, and you keep on working hard for it, it will come true. No, <laughs> that's right, love. I can think of plenty of people who would be much happier if they took a page from your book. I see now. This is surely the essence of true magic. Best of luck, Your Highness. After all those speeches about taking the throne, it'll be awfully irresponsible to go dying on us now. <sighs> Luis claims victory. Everyone will be sacrificed in his wake. We must. We have to prevent that from happening. Whatever Luis is doing, the Royal Palace has to be stopped as soon as possible. It's up to us to do it. Right. Thank you. Well, we best keep an eye on the calendar. The King's deadline was the dawn of the Day of the Hero, so we've got until the day before. And that won't be the end of things, either. Even if people come to their senses, it would amount to nothing if Luis sits upon the throne. Personally, I think we should prioritize our main objective here. I'm sure we'd get it done, but we have to make sure we have at least one day to spare before the Day of the Hero. We've got a few days left, so it's up to you how we spend them. When we set off, let's do it with no regrets. All right, the final mission. So how many specific days do I actually have? So Luis is hiding in the floating royal palace here. We have to stop him. I won't accept King Luis. Uh, here's where we are now. All right. Let's see how many days we have. 